from the past as we get underway with the ringing of a bell. Peter Carey gets us underway, keating up high for Brisbane, and he gets the visitors going forward. Oh, high tackle, and Luke Power will take the free. Krasiska hit him pretty hard round the neck. Power takes the free kick quickly, inside the 50. Lynch, the ball skimmed on wet ground. Lynch close to the line, and taken over the line in an aggressive tackle by Prestigier Como. Already some interesting matchups. Andrew Swarbrick's got the job on Jaron Malloy at full back. Lynch has been picked up by Presta G. Como and Johnson, who's been a dangerous player for the Lions over the last couple of weeks. Scott Burns has got that job. Well, there's Patheras at half back, gets it to Lecuria. Around the boundary line it comes. And Luckin takes it over. But it's just outside 50 for Brisbane. They'll be pumped up too. It's a and we've got the Collingwood bench, Aussie. Yes, Orchard, Davis, Crow, and Scotland. Thank you, uh, Richard. There's the ball kicked by uh, Mark Richardson. Akamanis, centre of the ground. He's a very clever player. He's got it. Akamanis on the left. In towards half forward. Lecuria waits at the back. Lynch tries to thump it on. He just missed it. It's at half back. It's kicked away. And that was by Tyson Lane. He's kicked it straight in the hands of Chris Johnson. And Johnson's outside 50. He's about 60 metres out. He's going to bomb it long. He's got the oh. torpedo putt. He's got onto it. Lynch at the back, but Mark Richardson flicks it over the back, over the line, a metre away from the behind post. And Richard Osborne is down there with the Brisbane bench. Brad Scott, Clark, Lambert and Sean Hart. And Macker, you can tell already the Collingwood boys are pumped. They've got nothing else to play for except four quarters of football. They're oh, going he, for it. Here's a chance for Power. They go off the ground. Either Power or McRae got the goal. Yeah, McRae. First goal. McRae was the player that actually kicked the footy off the ground through. And that's all you've got to do in wet conditions. Play a straight bat early, get the ball forward. Doesn't matter how, whether it be by hand or be foot by foot. But on this occasion, good ruck work there by Keaty. He got the first purchase of the footy. Buckley desperate in his attempt to nullify power, win possession. But McRae was there. Weighted numbers favoured the Brisbane Lions on that occasion. And he dribbled the ball across the goal line to kick the first for the game, the first for the Brisbane Lions. Well, Craig McRae is their leading goal kicker for the season. That's his 37th. They're the highest scoring team in the competition and their leading goal kicker has just 37. They do spread it around. Keating in the middle, gets the ball down. Hard for Lappin, gets the ball back to uh, Keating. A bit of a fumble. Eventually Akamanis out of the middle. His kick bounces on. Johnson taps for Voss. Voss off the right, a wobbly old kick. Malloy is there, under pressure. Schwabel gets back to Buckley, covering ground, outside the 50 with his kick, oh, he had to wait, and Voss came late, but Lecuria, uh, rather, Olerenshaw took the mark on the defensive 50 for the Pies. Breeze going Brisbane's way, but mostly across the ground, and a light drizzle coming from across the city. We've had a lot of rain in Melbourne over the last couple of days, and it's pretty wet underfoot. Ricky Olerenshaw few games this year for Collingwood in his first year after a, a premiership with Essendon. Ball underfoot. The Lions doing most of the attacking. Comes out to Huskus. He pokes it up short. Beautiful delivery. And Michael Voss has it 45 metres from goal. Yeah, what a terrific player Voss is. He just knows when to push forward. He started in the midfield part of the ground. Betheris looks like he's being his opponent for the day at this stage. Also some other interesting matchups. We see Tarkin Lockie has got the job on Ashcroft. Interesting to see Power started across half forward. Looks like they're going to use back Buckley across half back. He'll try to overplay that situation as much as possible. Oh, Voss miss kicks it. It drops 10 metres short. Front of the pack. McRae gets his second. Wonderful goal. Yeah, that's the reason why this team's a very good, very good side. They just get weighted numbers at the contest more often than not. You see here the kick by Voss. Didn't hit it quite right, but there's the right spot to receive. McRae, a very exciting player. Tyson Lane's his direct opponent. At times, Lane does push forward the contest too far. He's got to be more accountable, play body on body in the defensive part of the ground. Great start to Brisbane. A terrific start. As we see Keating, there's Lockyer, was caught. The Collingwood crowd calling for too high, but the umpire having none of that. It really is a good start. Two goals to Craig McRae. Very, very slight breeze. There's Tony Shaw. 
We heard his speech before the game. Very, very passionate. Black gets it to Lappin. Danger again. Lynch. He's got some support down there. Malloy was caught high. And Malloy again. Malloy! As boys hit the post. Oh, gee, Mick. Brisbane already looking very, very dangerous. Yeah, and terrific start. Just the start they need. They've got to try to curb the influence of the crowd. As I know and you know, Pete, Collingwood supporters, they tend to get very vocal to stop them getting involved in the games to kick some early goals, and that's what the Lions have certainly done. Oh, it's hard to get footing as Lane kicks out. Richardson palms the ball down. Buckley in front of the pack leaves it for Crow. The hand pass comes out wide to Krasiska. Up towards centre wing. Hitting the board hard. Ball hard. Lawrence. Lawrence, beautiful disposal. And Craig McRae, has he been damaging early with the only two goals of the game? Deep inside 50. Malloy. Caught in a good tackle. Ball spills to Krasiska. Buckley trying to get it out. Collingwood desperate. They've been defending since the uh, bell rang to start the game. Knocked up by Keating. Black in over the ball, and the umpire calls for it and will ball it up. And Drew, from that passage of play, you can already see it's not going to be the first player at the contest that'll win possession. They'll be fumbling, very slippery ball, hard to pick up. So that's got to motivate the players to push to the contest and create numbers there to favour your team. Keating, a lovely hit out, but it went straight to Buckley. Still Keating knocking on. Brisbane with numbers round the ball. Notting gets it to Ashcroft. But they've got numbers all right. This is Black onto the left foot. Centers the ball. Lynch. Oh, he waits in the goal square. And he jumps that magnificently and hit him right in the chest. But that was just great judgment. Yeah, no doubt about that, Pete. You called it right. Young Black, what a terrific season he's had. Probably should have kicked the ball a little bit better. Bad judgment there by Preston Chiacomo. Superior judgment by Lynch. But already they're ominous signs because the Brisbane Lions are pushing hard to the contest, certainly getting more numbers at the fall of the footy than what the Collingwood team is. They are under pressure. So Alistair Lynch from directly in front for Brisbane's third. It hasn't been up Collingwood's forward end as yet. And Lynch pops it through. Great start to Brisbane. They are a very, very good side. They lead 3-1. Collingwood yet to score. It's interesting today, looking at Adam, Adam Huskis, he's a player, no doubt Collingwood have put, put a fair amount of homework into, because he basically hasn't got anyone to be matched up on or match up against in Collingwood's forward line. He's pushed to centre wing. Oldenshaw's got the job on him, but on that occasion it was just superior judgment from Alistair Lynch. Good experience, has been a good wet-weather player. He kicks his first. Back in the middle, and Collingwood trying to get it forward of the centre for the first time. Keating wins in the middle. Krasiska's back there. Veteran from the Premiership side. Ola Renshaw's hand pass. Very disappointing. Goes astray. Nodding up to full forward. Lynch juggles. Hit the ball very hard, Alistair Lynch. Oh, it's flipped out. Lappin. Slight fumble at ground level. Black goes backwards. Oh, Brisbane out here. Ascroft. Great evasive skills. Johnson Shepherds. The ball bounces for a behind. Yeah, and there's that backwards handball, Drew. Wet footy, under pressure, you can't afford to think defend. And that, by that I mean by handballing it backwards. If it misses the target, the weighted numbers from the opposition, they control the footy. On that occasion, a turnover was created and nearly a goal scored through Ascroft. The Lockyer has kicked in to Buckley. Buckley has kicked wide. Mark Richardson has marked. He's way out at half back. The Collingwood faithful roaring for it to get forward. Now he's kicked it to a pack. Darrell White. Oh, gee, he's got good hands. He is a, probably the cleanest mark going around. They've got men running everywhere. Lepic has run from full back down the forward line, but White's gone across to Huskis. He can go to Chris Scott. He can go across to Kennedy. Will he? Yes. He, no, he's not. He's looking for Notting. Notting, six goals last week. Gee, they're looking good, Brisbane. Notting has marked. Way out on centre wing, he kicks long in towards half forward. Keating was bundled out of it. Mark taken by Scotty Burns. Burns kicks out wide. He's looking for the boundary line more than anything. He's got Lane as the only hope. Lappin beats him and kicks it in. Lappin's kick inside the 50. Lynch! Oh, great spoil, Prestigier Como, and the ball out of play. Then get back to that marking contest just with Scott Burns. Terrific work there by Mark Richardson off the footy. You got Keating, his opponent. Out of the marking contest, Burns took an easy mark. 
Unbelievable statistics. Inside 50, 10 Brisbane Lions. Collingwood yet to enter that part of the ground. That could have said inside a half rather than 50. I, I'm sure Collingwood haven't advanced uh, forward of the centre circle. 20 to nil. And haven't Brisbane started well. Mind you, they've been flogging great sides for the last couple of months. They've won their last seven. They beat the West Coast by 100. Beat Frio by 74. The ball worked towards the line. And in the back, Power will take the free kick for Brisbane. Yeah, free kick there to Luke Power. Yeah, sloppy work there by Tarkin Lockyer, who was second to the footy. But you've got to control yourself in giving away an undisciplined free kick like that could prove costly. Only 35 metres out, but it's left and stays left all the way. And a behind to Luke Power. And some interesting matchups in Collingwood's forward 50 metre area. Looks like Daryl White's got the job on Mal Michael. Chris Scott's got the job on Gavin Brown, who's very, been very good for Collingwood this year. Lepic is picking up Tarrant now. He did start on a rocker. And Anthony Rocker's from the goal square. He's been matched up by Matthew Kennedy. Yeah, a lot of pressure on these young Collingwood players. Brisbane are a top side. Been a lot of hype and uh, uh, promotion of this game. Sure ball, he couldn't mark. Neither could Richardson. Uh, it's at half forward, way out at half forward for Brisbane. A terrific start. 21 plays nil. But uh, inside 50s, 10 or 11 to nil. And they're just proving what a good side they are. One of the premiership favourites. Keating has been terrific in recent weeks. There's Lapham. Everywhere you look at this Brisbane side, they've got enormous uh, talent. There's uh, Stephen Lawrence. I've played against his father, Barry. Barry will be up on the Gold Coast. One of the best players I've played against and one of the toughest. And his son's a chip off the old block. He's got plenty of that in him too. Oh, well, there's no doubt about that. Lawrence does certainly run straight, Pete. But now Buckley's moved back into the midfield. He's picking up Ashcroft. Ashcroft started the game on Lockyer. It's been a straight swap. Lockyer's gone back to half-back, picking up Luke Powell. Interesting free kick against Mark Richardson there. Listen, Keating's been a great player. Uh, oh, he just gives him first points. access to the footy, Pete. Jumps hard into the contest, especially the ruck contest. Gets the ball forward. Daryl White with plenty of distance. Up very high. Prestigier came over to the front. Voss gets it across to power. He spirals it up to Malloy. Gets rid of his opponent. Illegally. Collingwood free kick. Taken quickly. They work it out of defence. Have they been defending the pies? It comes to Tyson Lane. Just outside 50. Good chase by Johnson. Great discipline by the Lions. Buckley cornered by Ashcroft. And they've gone forward with the wing for the first time. Drop mark by Brisbane. The ball at ground level. Tarrant works well. Tackling by Scott. Fantastic stuff. The theorist the hand pass back. And Williams turned it over. It comes to White. Spirals it inside the 50. And Brisbane back to where they've been so often in this game. Shorter looks for the line, but kicked it too hard. Yeah, free kick actually coming back to Schwarbel, though. It's been given for in the back against Malloy. And Andrew Schwab has got to realise wet footy, you can't afford to give the ball too much height when you're under pressure like that. You're better off getting the ball on the ground, skidding across the boundary line. Just play the percentages a little bit better. Yeah, dead right, Mickey. Should have been going low. Oh, poor kick. Terrible kick, Schwab. And that's his problem. Kicks off one step too often. He should be told, and that should be addressed because that is a downside of his game. Over the last three weeks, he's been a little bit better in basically defending but his use of the ball coming out of the defence just isn't good enough at times. And he's, Have a look at this. Unfortunately, One step, yeah, leaning yeah. back, wet footy, low percentage, it'll never find targets. Yeah, poor kick, and it's gone straight to a guy who's got terrific skills. Lappin, Nigel Lappin, he might play Cottingwood pay here. That's a beautiful kick at goal. It, it's just, just drifted away and missed to the left. We, Pete, you look at those trees just behind the, uh, the goals there to our left. It certainly is a right-to-left breeze. A couple of kicks have gone to the left-hand post. You just certainly have to allow out of that pocket, don't well, you? Well, when I look at those trees, I'm amazed there's no one up there, Mickey. <laughs> yeah. There might be a few monkeys. No, he's in the... Uh, he played in the reserves yesterday, <laughs> Oh, golly! Lakiri has taken too long to kick it in. It's been taken off him. Gee, that's gutsy up by Peter Carey, isn't it? Yeah, well, Peter's last game, or last season, no doubt he's trying to make his point on the game. Have a listen to the Collingwood supporters. Well, he must have walked in. And they will get agitated unless Collingwood get an early score. Get an armoured car for the umpires as they leave the ground. Ola Renshaw, Prestige Como dropped it. The Brisbane putting pressure on all over the place. Shawble 
a hurried kick, gets it to the 50, Burson got it far enough out, Notting unloads a big one, and goals! Yeah, they're just getting beaten, just in the percentages of the game. Collingwood aren't accountable at this stage. They're getting players running free. Uh, the Brisbane Lions. Notting just basically formed the wall with a couple of other forwards. Johnson was another player. But we look here, Schwab under pressure, trying to clear the area, but Brisbane Lions players got back, formed the wall, good percentage footy. Notting was there, unopposed, gathered the loose footy and goal. Well, a great start to Brisbane, and just what Collingwood didn't want. Brisbane playing superb football, 4-4. They should be a lot further in front. There's Keating getting first hands again. There's Lappin, the boss, a bit of talent there. Lappin and boss, half forward, punched away from Notting. Here's Tarkin Lockyer, Buckley. Buckley to half forward, Lawrence races back, puts some pressure on him, goes for the punch. It's on centre wing. Lockyer again. Here's Stephen Lawrence. Back to Aklamanis. Gee, there's some talent in this side. A great kick. In towards Black. Black under the right foot. Brings it in towards full forward. He's looking for Lynch. Lynch couldn't mark. Burns. Back it comes to Shawball. Shawball. Who, who can he find? He can find Olorinch and he finds him at half back. Gee, the patrons in the Sharon stand and the Bob Rowe stand have hardly seen any action. Here's Gavin Brown pushing the back. The former captain who has been fantastic this year. Veteran status now, of course. Buckley high. Can't quite complete the one-hander at ground level. Buckley applies the tackle. Ball stays in. Umpire will ball it up. And it's still been 13 entries into their forward 50. Collingwood are yet to break the ice. That would be concerning coach Tony Shaw. So from the ball up, it comes to Williams. He forks the hand pass. He probably should have given it. Eventually he does. Betheris, too high for Patterson. They're on the 50 for the first time, Collingwood. Tarrant does well. Concedes some ground. Back to Rupert Betheris. Hurried kick for Brown. It bounces through. Anthony Rocker with absolute ferocity. Rocker bounces it through, but it was touched on the line by Kennedy. No goal. A minor score for Collingwood. They've got a point. But it's taken them a long time getting it. And at least one thing, Drew, it's got the crowd involved. You can just tell for the majority of these Collingwood players, except the ones that were in the 1990 Premiership, this would be the biggest occasion of their football career. There's obvious nerves out there, but they just need to kick a goal and they'll settle. Justin Lepich kicks in. He's probably the best fullback in the competition this year. Simon Black ridden into the ground. Up by said no. Half forward, it is with Krasiska. Here's Paul Williams. He's surrounded by uh, Brisbane Lions players. Schuster's calling for a free kick, and he's going, going to get it against Williams holding the ball. Yeah, Paul Williams gathered the footy in underneath him. That's the reason why the free kick was given. Watch his right arm tuck it back underneath him. There's the prior opportunity, if you'd call it that. Hard decision. Difficult day for players to pick up the ball at ground level and get it clear. Matthew Kennedy, a long kick. Centre wing. Give it off to Burns. Burns a hurry kick to centre wing. It was a wobbly one. Buckley working hard. Chris Scott's after him has forced over the line. Yeah, Collingwood certainly have to do something in their structure, I believe. Maybe it's time for Scott Burns or maybe Gavin Brown just for five minutes to push to midfield. Just some hardness. Because at the moment, it's the Brisbane team were a little bit harder, picking up too much of the loose footy at ground level. Round the boundary line, Brisbane back to centre wing. Oliver Renshaw can't keep it in and we'll have a throw in the outer side. I think that's a pertinent point, Drew, because at the moment, Brisbane Lions, Voss, uh, Simon Black, Ashcroft, they're just getting too much clearances around these stoppages. Collingwood needs some more body players because the ball's going to be on the deck a fair amount of the time. There's another example. Francisco tried to go off the ground, he's bowled over. And it's a Brisbane free kick, is it? No, no. going to Gavin Francisco in the back off the footy. Just as well. The way the crowd hooted, I thought, don't tell me it's gone against him. Francisca up towards the 50. Tarrant, good boy. He's a long way out. This would need to be a career best kick. So he puts it up short. Rocker! Thanks for coming, Anthony. Yeah, now he has to go back. Steal his mind. He was involved in a good contest before that kept the footy in the Collingwood 450 area. Look at that for a jump and leap and mark. 
Good stuff by Anthony Rout Rocker. Now you've got to do what Fords are capable of doing, go back, kick a goal. Last week he had a shocker, half kicked it on a couple of occasions. Probably cost Collingwood a chance of winning that game. He'd be aware of the situation. He'd know the ground well. Kick it low, kick it flat, underneath the grandstand. More importantly, he just got to kick the ball with a fair amount of penetration into the wind. His shot. It's Collingwood's first goal. Brilliant kick by Rocker. Yeah, well, they certainly needed that for Collingwood to get him back into this contest. Now trailing by 21 points. Good work there by Tarrant. He led early. Good kick there by Krasiska to find him. Got back from the mark quickly. That was the key. Assessed his options. Nothing on immediately. But then Rocker led. Terrific jumping mark over Akamanis. But none but statement to say they needed that goal. Their first for the game. Well, things were looking very, very gloomy. But Anthony Rocker has lifted the Conninger crowd. And that will help. Here's Lappin. A very highly skilled player. Boss quarter was caught high. In towards half forward. Punched away by Lane. Brisbane have the numbers. Here's power. He always kept it in brilliantly to Ashcroft. Umpire saying it was scooped. Brian it was Schemes thrown. Was he must, he he must have played it throw. He called it a scoop back. Oh, a bit stiff. <laughs> Lockyer. Buckley. And Buckley takes a good mark. Centre wing. What they need now, the Magpies, another quick one. A low trajectory kick. Tarrant couldn't mark. Shawball. It's a free kick. Oh, how the calling it social club? Oh, People man. jumping out of seats, pointing to the umpire. That is a very game umpire to give a decision yep. like that in front of that yep. crowd, as you know, Paul. Oh, they're baying for blood down there, Mickey. That Collingwood social club. Pretty soft free kick. Yeah, it was. Chris Scott, Keating. He impresses me a lot, this guy. And when he gets tired, they can bring Matthew Clark on. So they're very, very well off in the big man department. That's a good kick. That's a terrific kick by Keating out in front. And Lecuria, Lecuria had no hope of stopping Notting. Notting's going to kick the Lynch, who's one on one. Lynch, front position. Lynch! Oh, that is great forward play. That is top forward play. In front and use your body. Yeah, very good point, Pete. Remember Alistair Lynch playing for Fitzroy, Collingwood played at Princess Park in those days, now Optus Oval. Lynch kicked seven goals. Similar conditions today, plays in front, played the percentages. Ronnie McEwen was his opponent that day. He had to readjust, play in front of Lynch. Maybe Preston Giacomo has to learn from that lesson also. For goal number five, oh, he's just the wind of perfection. That's right through the middle. And that's that right to left wind we spoke about, Pete. Players, good players, sum up the situation quickly. Lynch did that on that occasion, but terrific ball use once again. There's the strength in front. Preston Giacomo trying to find a front position, but the bulk and the strength and the composure in the contest by Lynch, that stood to the fore on that occasion. Good technique. Right-hand goal post. Give it a bit of air. The footy will naturally come back, and that is great conversion from an experienced player playing his 201st game. Really? Ball back in the centre. Five goals to one. Richardson wins in the middle, but Voss takes it away for Brisbane. Chris Siska to Buckley. Good running by Burns. Kick by Burns to centre half forward. Lippich! Lord Tarrant over the top. It comes to the front. Good hand pass by Freeborn. Comes back to Patterson. Rocker contests. It flips out to Williams. He's a chance. 35 out. Paul Williams. Didn't have the legs on it, and marked by Kennedy in the goal square. Just under four minutes remaining to quarter time. Aussie, how much of it is the scoring end at the left-hand end? I think, Drew, we saw from that last kick from Paul Williams how strong this breeze really is. It's at least a three-goal breeze going to the end of Brisbane Lions of kicking. Ashcroft. Back it comes to Black. Centre of the ground. It's a loose ball with Johnson. But it was loose for about a split second, and then the... Uh, the Hordes uh, came in and caught him as Paul Lecuria, but that Collingwood defence is under enormous pressure as Brisbane, with their superior skill, belted forward. The umpire signalling he's going to throw it. Look at Keating. He's dominating the rucks, Keating. Look at that. 
That was terrific play. Centre of the ground, Ashcroft has had a very, very good year. Here's McRae, he's kicked two goals. Johnson, he runs away. Lynch is one out again with Prestigier came out. Here's Lynch, he's got it. He'll look for the short one. He's going to hook it back in front of goal. Johnson, Malloy, he drops it. Still Malloy, still Malloy, still Malloy. Look at this. Best goals you would ever see in a million years. No doubt about that. Absolute courage personified. The footy was in the air a long time, Pete. Great call. I he was the one. To get caught, man. He was the one that charged from the goal square. He committed himself alongside Krasiska for Collingwood. Both players collected each other fairly solid. But what's the recovery for a big man? Ball balanced, magnificent stuff. Paul Williams missed the body, should have went to tackle low at the hips of his opponent, and Malloy, he sidestepped him, waltzed into an open goal. No doubt this is a promising team. And has Gavin Francisco felt that? Oh, he was cleaned up by a Mack truck. Richardson out of the middle to Williams, off the side of the boot, wide out in front of the social club stand. Here's Lepic in front, working it all along the line, but then overruns it. Tarrant. Good persistence, Michael. Play on, says the umpire. The Collingwood fans want a free. Darrell White was good. Power, the hand pass in black. Just outside 50, Johnson. And the hand pass back to Lane. Now to Buckley. Half distance pass to Williams. Paul Williams off and running. Gets around Lippich. Good kick. Oh, great kick. Olorenshaw outside of centre half forward. Two kicks to goal from there into this breeze. Ricky Olorenshaw. Now deep inside the 50, it gets to the back, Rocker, just 30 metres out, now 40 out, the hand pass back, here's a chance for uh, Batheris, offline and it is holding up, no doubt, Kennedy a mark. Kennedy a long kick, a great kick, their skill level, Brisbane is very, very good, power, oh dangerous kick, Buckley could have marked, he went the punch instead, maybe should have marked, Lepich. On to Lawrence, the kick was poor, but the umpires paid the mark. It's been taken by Johnson. Everywhere you look in this Brisbane side, there's enormous talent. Williams are oh, pushing the back. Oh, he's lucky to get away with that, Paul Williams. Yeah, a little bit of a touch it looked like, but Paul Williams kept his composure. He's one player that really have to get into this game. Already he's had three kicks. Oh, Michael, what a mark. Under extreme pressure from Chris Scott. Michael wants to play on, but he's over the mark. And the fans are chucking their black and white scarves. And Michael now made to come back behind the mark. And that's held up the side as he wanted to make a quick break. Recruited into AFL football from Papua New Guinea. Short kick maybe to Gavin Brown. Michael goes for a bit of distance. It is holding up going to that end. Rocker crunches the pack. It comes out to Shawbel, who's been moved forward. The ball out of play, right in front of the social club stands. And the crowd getting their money's worth. It's an all-ticket affair, but they're hooting and booing. And Gavin Krasiska's just been removed from the ground, no doubt feeling the ill effects of that contest with Malloy, but he is tough. He'll come back on. Scott Crow gets his first run for the day. Yeah, Mick, it looked like he was holding his left hamstring too, so I'll keep you up to date with that. Well done, Aussie. Well, let's hope it's not a hamstring, um, because that would be a sad way to win the year for Gavin Krasiska. Well, he's had a history of lower back problem. There he is pointing probably to where the contest was. But let's hope it's not a hamstring. Well, they're a rotten injury too. You, you never know when you've got them right. You're thinking, come back on. And uh, well, they're normally a couple of weeks job for sure. But it's the last game for this year for Gavin. Backward handball again, Pete. Yeah, the over the turnover. Lappin. Mark Richardson has marked. Centre wing. He wants to play on quickly. He's going short. Oh, he set it up. But a mark taken by Shawball. Here's Lane. He ran into a brick wall. They've got numbers here in Brisbane. Oh, look at this. Loose men everywhere. Johnson will receive from Huskis. He can have a shot for goal or he can go out. The siren. Oh, siren had gone. That was bad luck to Brisbane. They had loose men everywhere running towards goal. But Mick, Mick McGuan, a brilliant quarter by Brisbane. That's all you could say. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Magnificent quarter to lead by 33 points against the emotion, against Collingwood's efforts to make their last game at Victoria Park a memorable one. The credit must be given to this Brisbane Lions team. They certainly attacked the body. They got numbers at the contest, knowing that today you have to play the percentages. Keep it simple. And I think that's one thing they certainly did in that first quarter. They certainly controlled the ball more than what the Collingwood team did. 
55 kicks, only 15 handballs. They didn't want to handle the footy so much, didn't want to create mistakes. Whereas Collingwood, on the other hand, merely because they were under pressure, 42 kicks, 31 handballs. No doubt Tony Shaw will address that in his quarter time address. Again, the, the, the breeze is very strong, so let's hope they can get back into it. The crowd are just waiting for it. So we start the second quarter. Keating dominating in the ruck. Gets the ball down to Ashcroft. His kick across the ground. It's to the defensive side. Lane whips it away from Johnson. And the ball to the safety of the boundary line. Mick, that is where it's starting. Keating really did dominate, as Drew said, that first term. And we mentioned in the first quarter also, maybe Burns or Gavin Brown should go into that part of the ground. Burns is the player that's gone there to create a bit of hardness and win some footy when it's loose. Keating again with his hand to it. Black at ground level, fighting hard for it. And a ball up. Right in front of the social club. By gee, they'll take the heat out of the after-match celebrations if they get absolutely belted here today. Aussie. Yeah, the bench for Collingwood. Davis, Lockyer, Crow, and Gavin Kosiska, who tried to run at quarter time, and still looks a little bit proper. Yeah, it's not looking good for uh, Gavin. There's Burns, as Mickey McGuan said, has moved to midfield, so his toughness and... Uh, Aussie, the Brisbane bench. Brad Scott, Matthew Clark, Craig Lambert, and Sean Hart. Well, it's a pretty good bench when you think about it. If they get a couple of injuries, you can bring those blokes on. Now, there's Batheris, a long driving kick. Scott couldn't hang on to it. Akamanas had a fantastic year, a little bit of uh, Robert Harvey type stuff there. There's Keating on, oh, good mark. Richardson, short kick, good kick. Austin Shaw breaks away, kicks long to the forward line. Rocker! Used his body beautifully to get rid of Kennedy. Kennedy screaming at Peter Gary that he should have got a free kick, but what do you think, Mick? No, certainly terrific body work yep. there by Anthony Rocker, who alerted himself to the ball in flight. Good judgment. Pushed his body against Kennedy's, opened up the space for him to take an easy chest mark. Oh, Anthony Rocker playing at full forward, kicking every second. These are the ones you've got to nail early in the game. Put a bit of scoreboard pressure on. Oh, he's out to the right. Don't tell me he's kicked out the full. No, he's just snuck it in from, from behind. But he kicked, missed two last week from 15 metres where he hit the post. And quality forwards have to kick those. Pete, just watching his technique, he really lifts the footy high yep. as he brings it down to his leg. Yep. And because he does that, his back goes back. Yep. Just leans back on his foot on the kick so often. I think during the summer, he's got to really work on his kicking. As we see Ola Renshaw in towards half forward, Chris Scott. Races back today. That, that is a very good defence now. They, they have Brisbane, a young defence and a very, very good one. Well, it's frightening. They've got the best defence in the league and the best attack. Yeah, they're just a complete unit. Work very well together. Huskus, the back six has been pretty settled all Change year. Change direction here to Scott, possibly. Yes, and well coached. Look at Chris Scott coming up the ground. He's running off Gavin Brown. He's about 40 metres away from Brown. Scott up towards centre wing. He's kicked towards centre half forward to Keating. In front, McRae who kicked two first quarter goals. It spills off. Richardson gives it straight back to Scott. And Brown still hadn't picked him up. The hand pass into Huskus on the bounce. Adam Huskus. Brought to the front for McRae. He's barreled. Was it high? Held. Umpires balling it up. That's good umpire by yep. Brian Sheehan. Very, Very good. good umpire. Yeah, McRae, a couple of occasions today, he's got to that front of the pack. Look at that, hitting it hard. Probably had three steps to straighten his body up. A good tackle there by Crow, brought him to ground. But all in all, good decision. There must be about 16 or 18 players around that bounce. Now, free kick, oh, he's a bit stiff there, Keating. They were both pushing and shoving, and Richardson has it. And I just feel that the 50-50 free kicks today may go the way of the uh, Magpies. As we see Tyson Lane kicking wide, he was looking for Buckley but it didn't hit him and over. Hasn't that been happening for 107 <laughs> years? <laughs> well, on this side, Drew, I'm fair to come on this side of the ground. That's why when I played up at full forward at that end, I always led around the social club. You're guaranteed a free kick the crowd. <laughs> you just led there because you knew the after match was upstairs and all the pats yeah. on the back you were going to get. <laughs> <laughs> There's Batheris. He's kicked it straight into Lappin, who's having a very good game. Lappin drives it in towards full forward. Lynch flies. It's a loose ball. Williams waits, he's caught by Lawrence, oh, he got rid of it just at the last uh, split second. Here's Buckley playing deep in defence. Great kick. Finds Crow. Crow was looking for Burns. Oh, terrific punch that was by Scott. 
to Power, to Lappin, all these young guys. Ascroft, one of the more experienced players. Look at this, he's a man on his own at half forward. And it is a very, very dangerous goal kicker, Chris Johnson. Yeah, he just gets behind opposition's defences so often, whether it's his laziness on the way out to chase or he just sits back and hopes for a turnover. But quite often you'll see Johnson be unopposed in his forward 50 metre area. Sometimes it's smart play. No doubt the Collingwood defence would have to certainly watch his ability to do that. At the moment he's Tyson Lane's his opponent. Lane, of course, started the game on McRae, who kicked two of the opening goals. Chris Johnson, yes, the scorer goal is kicking into the breeze. It's out to the right. Keating, Richardson, kick by McRae, was it? For his third. Oh, what a great goal. Yeah, once again, front and square to the contest. McRae's done that, I think, on three, maybe four occasions today already. Playing the percentages, knowing the defensive group in that part of the ground will punch it back. Have a watch. Have a look at this. There he is to the front of the pack. Percentages say you've got three chances to win the ball if you position yourself directly in front of a marking contest. McRae was in the right spot. He kicks his third. Well, Collingwood certainly didn't need the first goal of the second quarter to go to Brisbane. We're back in the middle where Keating has been dominating. But this time Burns gets it out of the centre. It comes off wide. Beautiful spin by Scott. Back to midfield. Crow is there. Keating over the top of him. He's a good player. He's here, but well, Matthew Clark can't get a run at the moment because of his form. Absolutely uh, brilliant. And Keating's kick up towards half forward, but Scotland is back there to take the mark. And that's where they're so flexible because when Scott, uh, Clark comes onto the ground, he's fresh, he can jump, wins a lot of the uh, centre bounce clearances. Keating can push forward to be another marking target. If Malloy or Lynch aren't winning the ball, they can be removed from the ground. Oh, well, Keating's brother played in the Premiership side for uh, the Adelaide Crows in about his eighth senior game of football. It's something that Clark Keating can't boast at the moment, but he might be a bit of a show this year. Don't write off Brisbane for the whole thing. Scotty Crow from the prize on Mark Orton. Oliver Enshaw dodging and weaving around Malloy. No, he's not around Malloy. Good tackle, Molly. It comes out here. Huskis. Wants to turn into the centre corridor. That's disciplined team football. Inside 50. Lappin's there. Crunch to the floor. Play on. It comes to the front. Cleared by uh, Orchard. And well done by Patterson. Stephen Patterson, centre of the ground. On his own, he's freeborn. He finds him. The leads are coming thick and fast. Gavin Brown. Kennedy. Brown has got it. And this will delight the Collingwood faithful because they love him. And he's very strong overhead, Mick. Yeah, great marking player for his size. Look back on Gavin Brown's career. More importantly here at Victoria Park. Started his career as a wingman. He was basically a stopgap situation. He'd been playing centre forward, playing the centre, go to full forward. His courage has never been questioned. Terrific competitor, great captain. Well, he, need, he needs four goals today to be the leading goal kicker for the season ahead of Sav Rocket. Well, they need it. He'll kick it out to the right and let the wind do the rest. That's a beautiful kick. He knew the wind conditions. It's a goal. First goal to Gavin Brown. More importantly, coming with second, but they're still down by five goals too, so a lot more work to do. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Pete. But that was a good transfer of play there by Collingwood. Freeborn, good kick to the advantage of Brown. Brown, good courage. Just a little bit of a touch in the opponent's back in Kennedy. Lepich was coming from behind. Brown never took his eyes off the footy. He has practiced a lot to that end of the ground. He knows where the goals are. Well, Gavin Brown with that goal. That's his 31st for the year. Sav Rocker leads with 33. Of course, he's not out there, but it was great to see the whole list of Collingwood players line up for the anthem. Even those not playing in the seniors today out there in their uh, uniforms. It comes down. Ola Renshaw comes wide. Burns. There's a chance that Collingwood might get going here with the breeze second quarter. Patterson. Not quite. Over the shoulder. Free kick to Patterson. Advantage goes to Burns. He keeps it low, but wide. Oh, what a waste. Out of bounds on the full just as Tarrant had made good position, albeit in the dead pocket. Already I think the impact that Scott Burns has had on going to midfield is evident. He 
He's had three kicks in this early part of the second quarter. Just gets a little bit of hardness into that part of the ground, which Collingwood certainly required. A leopard. That is a very clever kick to Chris Scott. To set a wing, Keating in front. Couldn't take the mark. Orchard did well. Lane or could have been hiding the man. Voss working hard. So is Black. Well played by Lappin. That was good play to Notting. Now the dangerous McRae. He's kicked three goals. Look at Notting. That was terrific play by a young fella. He kicks towards goal and is, he's got a point. But that was rip. Is he going to be a fine? I think that's the difference between the two teams at that stage, Pete. They got the ball forward, whether by a little kick off the ground, a handball forward. They didn't think back. It's just natural for all players to run forward into your part of the ground. Malloy came in and made a real contest of that. Nearly took the mark. And the ball out of play for a throw in. 47 to 14. And Drew, you mentioned before the game, it's great to see the whole list of Collingwood players out in the ground. One player that was out there, which was fantastic to see, Brad Smith, we noticed last week, got cleaned up terribly. But he's up and running. It was great to see him. Yeah, really good. We were worried about him last week. Ball in the forward pocket here, and Brisbane looking menacing. And they're just hitting every contest really hard. Oh, great skill. Magnificent skill. Out of defence. Knocked on by Freeborn. It comes to Ashcroft. His kick wide, but marked by Black just inside the line. Good umpiring by Brian Sheen to let that contest go. That was fantastic. Crowd wanting a free, but the umpire not falling for it that time. Kick by Black. A lot of players here. Wet part of the ground comes to the front of power. Bit of a fumble, cleared by Williams. Another contest between these two. Lawrence Hendo Freeborn comes to the front. Ola Renshaw gets it to Burns, and the kick by Burns gains 40 metres. She's out of bounds up at centre wing. Yes, and uh, two, as you called it, Drew, two fantastic contests uh, a moment ago by Freeborn and Stephen Lawrence, two real goers, and uh, they fought hard, but the umpire let it go and didn't pick out a ticky touch with free kick, which was terrific. Here's Ola Renshaw getting plenty of the ball at the moment. He goes inside, they're looking for Laney, just a little fumble. Buckley calling for a hand pass, Orchard has lost it to Black. Black, now Buckley, an amazing end of all fate, uh, goes with good players. Mark Richardson, Tarrant. Used his body pretty well, the young fellow. Oh, Huskis nearly dived on it. Lucky for him, it went loose. Chris Scott, they're trying to hook it out. Oh, look at this. Huskis, she's been a terrific acquisition. Has he been a good acquisition to this side across our back, Mick? Yeah, he certainly has. Already today, he's had seven kicks. Hasn't been loose across half back as much as what he'd like, possibly. He's been matched up fairly closely. He's got the job on Stephen Patterson. Actually, sorry, Mel Michael in this, the second quarter. So far, all Brisbane. They've never won here at Victoria Park. They've lost all five meetings with Collingwood here. Burns over the top with a big leap. Brown with desperation that's characterised his football over 13 or so years. But Theros follows up and takes Voss over the line, and the umpire will throw it in. Owen Shaw's been quite a good player for Collingwood today. He's had 14 possessions on centre wing. Daryl White's now gone to centre wing for the Brisbane Lions to match him up. Again, the ball underfoot. Now it's going to be a free kick here to Brisbane. Umpire Carey playing the free kick back towards the back pocket. And coming up uh, limping is Black. He'll take it by hand, Simon Black. He's had a great year, Black. Huskis, he can chip it across here if he wants. Oh, he's coming up the middle. Akamanis, now he can transfer it out wide. Gee, they're good at this, Brisbane. And White's now he can go, Yep, he can go to White in the centre. He should. Yes, he will. White's on his own. This is danger for Collingwood. Buckley didn't come at him. He should have. Brings it in towards Lynch. Well, Lynch was caught very, very high in the danger area. Brisbane trying to get out. Orchard to Shawball to Williams. Buckley calling for it. He chips it across. He's got three players to give it to. One of them was Burns. Burns goes 10 metres backwards. This is Scotland. Scotland goes short. And he finds Buckley. Now Buckley's going on the turn. Kicks a long. Patterson and Lawrence. Patterson can't mark. He went to ground. They can't afford that. Lawrence off the ground. And over the line. It's not Lawrence. It's power, I should say. They look very alike. And uh, there's a little Magpie supporter in front row seats. 
Yeah, good transfer of play there by Collingwood. Williams tried to get the ball back into the centre corridor. That's the right thing to do. Good switch. Allowed some run from behind for Collingwood. Just unfortunate Patterson couldn't take that mark from the Buckley kick. Kick by Chris Scott back up towards midfield. Lane dodges and weaves, gets it away. Kick under pressure, hasn't gone any distance. Buckley, that's no mark. Now the ball's held to him. And the umpire will throw it in the air, I'd say, out there. Mustery breeze across the ground. Craig Lambert preparing to come on for the Lions. What a classy bench. And these conditions would certainly suit Lambert in and under. That's the type of player he is. Best bench in the league. Comes to Voss. Over centre wing with his kick. Now they've always got crummers at the front. McRae's kicked three goals. He's been phenomenal. It skims and bounces. Lynch. He threw it away. He's holding the ball. Good decision up by. Helped by 25,000 Collingwood fans. Yeah, I think he was trying to claim that he handballed that. Uh, Lynch. Oh, look at Presky. He was almost caught. Ola Redshaw. Kicks to a contest. Mel Michael. Centre wing. He's got Huskis after him. Knocked it away. Good umpiring again. Uh, very good Brian Shan. No free kick there. It'll be a throw in on centre wing where Keating will take on Mark Richardson. And smart tackle there by Huskis. And Simon Blackman limping off the Brisbane Lions. Doesn't look too good at all. Craig Lambert on for his first run. Well, that's as we said, that's a terrific interchange. Bad luck. I hope uh, uh, for Brisbane's sake, Black's not uh, too badly hurt. Look at Lambert. Took him two seconds to get a kick. Oh, good mark, Noddy. Terrific mark, a finger tipper. Well, oh, Clark going back on his own here. He can chip it to him, but he's electing to kick long. In front of the Collingwood Social Club, Shawball races back, was grabbed by the arm. Now, it wasn't out on the full. It'll be a throw in right in front. And there's Simon Black. Or oh, let's hope that's not a groin injury with the uh, finals coming up. Yeah, here's this mark of nodding. Terrific mark. Quite easy to fumble those balls when your momentum, the ball, your body's going towards the ground. But good composure there by Notting. Jeez, he hot at the moment, Notting. Six goals last week. Bathera's hand pass back to Buckley. What a kick by Nathan Buckley to Heath Scotland. He's taking on power, but he's gone. He stumbled right into him. Probably lucky not to be pinged. Patterson goes off the ground. It goes to Lynch. His hand pass away. Lappin. Just uh, Brisbane line players everywhere. Their skills are fantastic. They've won games this year in the wet, so they know how to play it. But their skills and their team plan is just perfect. And Chris Johnson gets on the end of the kick. And that's what you call inexperienced, Drew. Slippery conditions under your feet. Once you're running in a straight line, you've got to keep going straight. Very difficult. The technique of the tackler in today's game is very good. Slippery conditions, trying to duck and weave and balk, creates mistakes. Johnson from 40 metres out. Well, he has made the distance well, across the face of goal. Malloy. Well, that's twice Johnson has kicked poorly from there. Yeah, well, it's tricky because in that part of the ground, as you know, Pete, the shelter is a little bit lower from the uh, that outer grandstand. Centres the ball. He's given it up. Patterson's taken the mark. And Collingwood up and running. That could be an expensive turnover. Yes, it could be. As we see Williams on centre wing trying to race away. There's a bit of pace here. Akamanis and Williams. Rocker. Terrific pickup by Anthony Rocker. Williams was there with Michael. Michael dodging and weaving. They need a couple of quick goals. They've got a chance. Oh, free kick to Brisbane. It should have been. He was held by the jumper, Chris Scott. Good work, Burns. Peter Carey let that one go. All the heads go down. Lepic heads for the boundary line. Stephen Lawrence takes it over. And it'll be a throw in just inside 50. I really felt it should have been a Brisbane kick down there then. Sean Hart's also on the ground for the Brisbane Lions. He's gone to half forward. Scotland's picking him up. Lepic over the top, but it comes down to Burns. Lepic applies the tackle. Freeborn off the ground. Ackermanis dispossessed. Tarrant the hand pass. And Olorenshaw centres the ball. Rocker spoiled by Kennedy. And Kennedy kept his feet as Rocker went to ground. Great play, Matty Kennedy. To Lambert. Lambert off the left half forward. Voss well placed. Well done, Betheris. Front of the pack, Johnson. Crash. Down he goes. Play on, says the umpire. Good contest, that. Collingwood have it. Out towards centre wing. Huskis gives chase. Betheris shepherded off well. Clearing a path for Huskis. Oh, into the oh. Into the back of Johnson, <laughs> back to Huskis. That's yeah, unbelievable how they combine them. White comes back. 
Ashcroft pops it up high. Lynch charges and marks again. Yeah, this is a pretty ordinary display from Collingwood. They're just not panning up. And you've got a man up against good opposition teams. Too many players are unaccountable. Look at that. The space 20 metres directly in front of goal when players are flooding a back line should never happen. Having Lynch to lead into that space and contest the footy as easily as that, Tony Shaw would be livid, and rightfully so. Lynch for his third. Well, he started it way left. Well, it's not a tornado, Blaine. He didn't have to allow that much. That's out on the foot. I think Maybe that's what a lot to do with his footing, Mick. Yep. Very slippery conditions directly in front of goal. But it'll be interesting to see whether Anthony Rocker should be the player that goes into the ruck to give him some sort of impetus. He can do it for a five-minute period. Maybe Mark Richardson go deep, be the marking player across the full forward line, Gavin Brown, to come up the ground, be isolated against his opponent, Scott. Heath Scotland. Oh, look at Keating. Is he playing with some confidence? Looking for Voss. He finds him. Voss hooks it back. Oh, they're a good side, this mob. And the mark has been taken by Sean Hart, who is on the wrong side of the ground for a left footer. But I guarantee you'll get a lot closer than Chris Johnson did in his two shots at goal. Free kick off the footy to Oldham Shaw, directly out in front of goal against Darrell White. There's some holding. As Freeborn comes from the ground, Scott Crow comes back on. He'll probably go to the forward part of the ground. Players a debt forward pocket type drumming player for Collingwood. Well, coaches must, coaches or particularly Lee Matthews would absolutely hate that when someone's having a shot for goal. Ricky Ola Renshaw looks for Buckley. Buckley's uh, way out at half back. Closer to the back pocket area, he'll almost reach the centre wing. Preston Giacomo and Lynch. Lynch got front position as he so often does. Richardson oh, shuffled on. back. Preston Giacomo. Voss races after Batheris, but he gets his kick in. A fly at the back. Lepich went past the ball. Tarrant, free kick Tarrant, holding the man. 50 metres. Could be 50. If the ball was kicked away after the decision was made, so this will be a goal to the Magpies to Terra. Yeah, I thought the free kick was no doubt there, but I don't know about the 50 metre penalty, Pete. The ball spilled out very quickly to Ackermanis. As we see here, holding was there. Now the umpire just would have bounced, blew the whistle about now. There he is on the top of the screen. We couldn't really see it. I thought it was a pretty quick decision. I think Ackermanis just heard it as he was about to kick and half kicked it. Yeah, well, he didn't know what to do. Yeah, well, that's possibly the case. Look at that Collingwood crowd now. That's what the opposition... <laughs> loser, loser. To cut. Yeah, that's what they're saying as Tarrant puts a through for a goal. So we saw a good, good, good shot. There's an old, the old boot stutter there, Phil, from Collingwood behind the fence. But look at them. They give the opposition heaps. <laughs> yeah, they, they do that at Victoria Park. But Collingwood have to get back into this game. A couple of their forwards have to stand up. Chris Tarrant could be the player. The deficit is 27 points. Collingwood need the next goal. So the Brisbane forwards really uh, back, really getting a, a full mouthful from the Collingwood fans. Back in the centre. Palm down to Buckley. Well done by Richardson. To half forward, Ackermanis in front, the ball passed him. Tarrant, good spin. Another goal here, it'll be handy for the Pies. Michael! Here's the class of the future for Collingwood. Michael looked good across the full forward line last week. Caused a few concerns for Byron Pickett against the Kangaroos. That was terrific work there by Tarrant. Good clearance there by Collingwood. Buckley didn't finesse, got the footy forward. Williams across half forward, worked hard to get the ball in his area. Tarrant mopped up and kicked beautifully towards the lead of Michael. 40 metres, the breeze hard across him, and it goes left. We've seen a lot of kicks go left at that end of the ground, a behind only when they really needed a goal. They still trail by 26. And Drew, just on Simon Black for the Brisbane Lions, the physio on the dock, they had a good look at him. It's definitely his left groin. They've taken him into the rooms. It looks very sore, and I very much doubt that we'll see him again today. Well, that's rotten luck, Ozzy, because Simon Black's had a fantastic year, and G. Leverage is giving <laughs> the supporters behind the fence as much as he's copying. He's making faces at him. Well, good on you, Justin. At least you've got a sense of humour. 
And he, he, he can afford to because he's a great player. He's rocker. Sense of humour or great courage. Uh, well, the best <laughs> comeback of all is have a look at the scoreboard. I yes. suppose. Uh, Lippich, Lippich, he's had a magnificent... He'd be the best fullback in the competition at the moment. Yeah, he's so been he's got the last say. Ozzy, what's it like down at ground level, just the emotion from the supporters? Well, they just need to kick that one more goal. They've got to stick out a bit. You can just tell Mick at ground level, when they kick a goal to Pies, the crowd just erupts, and it's no doubt going to lift the players to a greater level. Well, here's Williams. And Akamanis there having a terrific duel. Ricky Ola Renshaw. A dangerous Buckley. Chris Johnson's after him. He can't pick it up, Buckley. He'll probably end up with it. He's a, he's a great player. Soccer's it off the ground. Back it comes to Ashcroft. He finds Akamanis. Off they go, Lappin. Now, he uh, goes the other way because he had no one to give it to. On he goes to Lambert. That's a great kick to McRae by Lambert. Now, McRae's going to get it moving quickly. He brings it back in front of goal. Lynch will mark this. Oh, he couldn't quite grab it. Here he goes, though, a goal to Brisbane. So, Lynch received a handball after he did the heavy work and he's kicked three and that is a dangerous two-pronged attack two players who are extremely strong in the body very good in the marking contest probably there were some doubts leading into this game from the football followers that brisbane need to play on top of the ground i'll tell you one thing brisbane lions are a very good team in wet conditions because they're hard at the loose ball Well, a vital goal for the Lions into the breeze. 8-5 to 3 goals, 3. And just under two minutes remaining to half-time. Lynch has got four. Palmed down by Richardson, but taken by Ashcroft. He's worked off the ball by Buckley. And then Bucks gets into the back of his opponent and gives away the free kick to be taken by Craig Lambert. He's got straight in amongst the action after he came off the bench. Great disposal to White. Running past Lepich. He's loved this in the last line of defence this year and he's come forward to kick some goals. Lynch has the spoil put on him. It comes to Hart, who slips like an eel. The kick by Hart is good. Malloy oh. at the back almost. Crashing through Voss. Can't get boot the ball. Malloy there. Crowd wanting a free kick. They're getting involved. And Collingwood good enough to bring it out. Lane, just in the nick of time, puts it wide. And Tarrant, deep in defence. Kicked by Tarrant. Over centre wing. Well delivered to Crow, And he marks. Scott Crow way out at half forward. A long, he's almost towards centre wing area. He kicks it low. He tried to dummy the kick. He, oh, Rakamatis, G did that well against Williams. Well played, Williams. Well played. Then he was caught by Lawrence. And when you're caught by Lawrence, you are fair to come caught. Yeah, you stay caught. Great tackle there by Lawrence. Paul Williams just couldn't get free of the tackle. And a couple of players running forward. Good contest there. Akamanis tried to win front position. position. Good recovery. Good pick up there by Williams and free kick here. Keating footy been, by Keating. Keating's been exceptional in the ruck. He has dominated the, the whole ruck contest. He gives it across to Houston. Oh, here come the runners. And this is Kilda. Kennedy, here the they go. Direction. They love running from the back line in waves. They do Brisbane. They've got the loose man going. He can give it across to Lappin. What will Lappin do? He runs to 50. He kicks long a goal. A great kick, a long kick. Touch right on the line. But that was exciting football from the back line, Mickey Maguire. Yeah, there's no doubt Collingwood forwards have to start manning up. They've got to be more disciplined in that approach at the game because that's where Brisbane are renowned for setting up their play across that half-back line, change direction through Yuskas, through Akamanis, then the overlap of Lepich or Kennedy may be on. That's what they did on that occasion. Collingwood certainly have to man up a little bit better. Excellent, Mark, but here's the siren for half-time. And, well, the celebrations that have happened here today for a Collingwood in their last appearance at Victoria Park on match day have gone a bit sour. One of the things that's happening here is there's going to be a wedding performed on the ground at halftime. I hope the marriage goes a bit better than the pies are going. <laughs> and she, uh, she won't look at Voss limping. They wouldn't want injuries to Voss. And we're already Simon Black looks as though he's got a, uh, a groin injury. And that is bad news for Brisbane, particularly on the eve of the finals. Alistair Lynch inquiring how bad it is. Let's hope it's not for the good of the game, Mick. Yeah, well, he's not too bad. He wouldn't be laughing and smiling with Craig Stasevich and Alistair Lynch. Probably just a little bit of a knock. He'll get it looked at in the halftime break. There's Lee Matthews. 
foreign territory for him walking from that part of the ground onto Victoria Park. There's the Collingwood boys leaving the arena. They will gather their thoughts at the half-time break. This is the Tony Shaw's address and hopefully in the third quarter try to get back on track. Well, the second quarter was dead even. They both kicked two goals, two each, but Brisbane were going into the breeze. They're in a commanding position, leading by 33 at halftime. Taking the consideration, one inch of, ground, uh, of water on the ground at some stage. It's just awesome. Here comes the second half. Thanks, Ozzy. Palmed down to Buckley, but his kick is smothered. They are swarming like bees, Brisbane. Lambert had a chance in the middle, and eventually it is held up. A 33-point lead to Brisbane. They led by 33 also at quarter time. So the second quarter was level, but with all the festivities that have been going on here at Victoria Park, let's hope the Collingwood players can uh, get a lift out of it and bring themselves back in this second half. Otherwise, they'll take their spectators right out of this contest. And Drew, the Brisbane Lions forward structure is basically the same as the first half. Just a couple of new matchups. Orchard's got the job on McRae. Freeborn's gone back to pick up Chris Johnson. And Heath Scotland is now playing on Lappin. Keating and Richardson. Richardson grabbed it out of that uh, bounce. Still trying to go on with it. The uh, Magpies Tyson Lane in towards half forward. No mark. Rocker looks though like he's been moved out into the half forward area. Around the corner goes Scotty Crow, but he blazes it over the line, so it'll be a penalty kick down there. And there's the bride and groom, the happy bride and groom. She almost took a mark then. <laughs> Ashcroft. Oh, the mark, he was off before he took it, Kennedy, but he's got plenty of time to get it to Akamanis. Now, here's uh, one of the Scott twins, and this is Brad Scott. Take your pick. And, uh, well, they've got a terrific bench noddings underneath that one. Orchard. To Scotland. Scotland bends it back in the direction of Buckley. Buckley's got a running player here as Lecurio is caught. No, it's not, it's Lane. And he was caught red hot. Lambert, an up and under kick. Keating races back. Keating couldn't mark. He's been very, very good though. It's at half forward for Brisbane. Shawble tried to knock it out. Brisbane with numbers. Oh, no one's coming out. Lynch. Lynch gives it across to Johnson. Johnson bends it back. Danger here for the Magpies. The mark is missed. He's nodding, nodding. Back it comes. It's still in a forward pocket area. The Magpies try and get it out. Nodding hooks it back in front of goal. Lynch, he couldn't mark either. A lot of mistakes being made off the ground by Johnson. He's still going in hard. Burns is caught. And the umpire really letting it go. A pretty ordinary passage of play going on here, actually. It's... Uh, it's finally out to Oliver Inshore, and that was given to him by Lane. Close to the boundary line, Ascroft. Not a lot happening at the moment. Ascroft bends it back. Johnson waited for it. Here's Sean Hart, a quick kick at goal. Another mistake. It's kicked back to the... Well, that... Well, we'll have a look at the Collingwood bench, but that was the worst bit of football I've ever seen in my life, Ozzy. That's right. It was a bit sloppy, but the Collingwood bench, Stephen Patterson, Nick Davis, Parker Lockyer, and Gavin Krasiska. And for Brisbane, they've got some problems. Michael Voss and Simon Black are still in the rooms with the club physio. McRae gets and his And on fourth. the bench, Power and Clark. Just well, an amazing situation. McRae's kicked the first goal of every quarter. Just an amazing situation there by McRae. Been a terrific player. Goose footy come over the back. In that boundary throw in, McRae just dribbled the ball through the goal line. To kick the easiest of goals. Keep the pressure up in Brisbane's 450 metre area. Keep the ball in that area. Well, after a scramble as a leader from the pack, Craig McRae kicked his fourth goal, and Brisbane are rollicking on here against the Pies. Ashcroft wrapped up in midfield. Remarkable for Ashcroft. He's played 159 games straight. Hasn't missed a game since 1992. And after Jimmy Steins retired at the end of last year, that is the current record. 159 without a miss for Marcus Ashcroft. Back in the middle, Keating just winning everything, dominating the ruck. And Hart is swamped. Now by will ball it up once more. And to think that shortly they'll probably take Keating off. And on comes Matthew Clark. 
Yeah, fresh ruckman, the terrific centre center square ruckman also jumps early. Brad Scott looks like he's got the job now on Nathan Buckley. There's Bathiris getting a tough kick away. Did pretty well there. The Crow, beautiful kick. He put it out to the left for Brown. Buckley front of the pack. Rocker's there as well. His hand pass is knocked down. Once again, it's a scrap at ground level. Tarrant flips the ball up at Brisbane, whip it away. Lepic and Ashcroft. Ashcroft has been a very good player for a number of years now. He's on centre wing. He's looking for the short one because he's got running players everywhere. Look at this. That's terrific play by Lepic. He runs to half forward from full back. Puts it to a one-on-one. -on -one. Lynch takes front position. Couldn't mark. Malloy against Shawball. Malloy used his body well. Lynch from the boundary line. Hooks it back at goal and across the face it just bounces before it went over the line. Just a couple of examples why Brisbane Lions are a very good team. Just their momentum of their bodies going through the contest that little bit harder than Collingwood. Malloy was an example against Warble. Well, it's 25 metres out, socket off the ground. That was by White. And through it goes for a behind. And also, Pete, one area of the game that Chris Tarrant has to improve in. He has to be aware of when Lepic is about to run. He just stood back and spectated, put too much pressure on the midfield group to cover. Lepic charged forward, received the change of direction and set up a scoring opportunity for the Brisbane team. Well, Buckley's kicking it wide. Oh, it's going to be a photo finish. Good kick. Just marked it inside Scotty Burns. Uh, Burns, he looks up and there's, uh, there's going to be a contest, whatever happens. Players are swooping from everywhere. Shawville could mark it. Olorenshaw did pretty well then. Oh, now it's uh, flicked out. Lambert working hard. That was good play by Lambert. Socket it off the ground. Burns. Johnson by the ball. He didn't judge it too well, but he goes back after the game. He's got Ashcroft in support. Ashcroft kicks it to half forward with Lacuria. Oh, he drops the mark too, but a pretty windy day. It wasn't, they're not easy any mark today. It's a throw. Throw against Lacuria. Much the same as. Uh, in an earlier quarter against the Brisbane Lions here, the scoop against Power. On that occasion, the free kick was deemed. Nigel Lappin is a recipient. He runs around, burns on the mark, and kicks to centre half forward. Lawrence slides in and takes the mark for Brisbane right in front. Well, let's hope not, but this could finish up being a rout. It's 40 points the lead already to Brisbane, and we're only early in the third quarter. Plenty of wind assisted time. And by three-quarter time, they might well have taken Collingwood right out of this contest. Lawrence, 40 metres right in front, starts it right. Breeze works on it a bit, but not enough. It'll be interesting over the summer months how Collingwood go about rectifying their current situation. They're just playing too loose. Last week against the Kangaroos, they were very accountable. They worked hard in tight. Whereas in the space of seven days, whether it's through inexperience or youth trying to maintain consistent levels, they just haven't been able to match the Brisbane team today in most departments. Believe it or not, they don't look all that fired up either. With the yeah, their body language thing. isn't good. No, I just wonder whether the occasion has been too much for some of the young guys. Here's Lecuria, punched away by Keating. He does a lot of, uh, well, Mick... He does a lot of discipline things, doesn't he? Team orientated things. Well, there was another example, Pete. You spoke highly of him all day today. Lecuria sort of waited for the footy to come to his hands, whereas Keating jumped into the contest. Those little six inches things, that's the width of your body. You've just got to get your body in first in the line of the footy. What great play by Ashcroft. A quick kick. Oh, he's missed at Scotland. Darrell White is there with Malloy. Scotland. Malloy brilliantly done to Brad Scott. Brad Scott will hook at goal. He's hooked it too far and he's missed. But so, uh, those Brisbane forwards work particularly hard even when they haven't got the ball. And the courier is coming from the ground. Patterson's coming on. There's Eddie Maguire in the makeshift stand. Obviously a worried man looking at what Nathan Buckley could possibly do on this kick in. But Patterson's going to the forward part of the ground. He'll be picked up by Eustace. And Peter McKenna, I think you hit the nail on the head when you were talking about the enormity of the situation and the occasion. Collingwood, a very young side, the occasion was either going to lift them to a higher level or, as you see time and time again, get the better of them. And you can tell they're just too nervous. On a wrench or in, in hard, but Lambert even harder. It's Lambert who gets the ball out. This is terrific. Comes out of nodding. He's gone. Turn the ball over. Collingwood have it. 
and Lane across the ground. Johnson comes to make a contest with Michael. It's built to Freeborn. Freeborn spots a player but doesn't deliver it well. Lawrence in front, works to the line. Well done, Stevie Lawrence. And that's another example, Drew, of playing the percentage. He knew he had to put his back in between his opponent and the footy. Instead of trying to mark the ball and let the ball drop at his feet, he actually punched the ball across the boundary line, live to fight another day, get the midfield group back in the contest. Brad Scott again, now picking up Buckley, the two number fives on each other. Hart keeps it in and gains 40 metres. And it's out of bounds up near the 50 for Brisbane, who lead nine goals eight to three goals three. And uh, unfortunately at the moment, Brisbane are reigning on Collingwood's parade. Yes, it's, uh, it's sad for the crowd actually, because there's a bit of a hush has gone around the crowd because the Magpie's getting well trounced at the moment. They're seven goals down. That's shuffled out to Olorinchor. He was trying to head for the boundary line. Here's Tyson Lane receiving from uh, Mark Richardson. Rocker way out at centre wing. Gives it off. Tyson Lane. Tarrant has led to the pocket, but Levitz read that beautifully. And Levitz going to transfer play here to White. White's got loose men running for him. He's going to kick it wide. Oh, they do love to run. This is Chris Scott. Here's Lappin, oh, Akamanis is running too. He's coming inside to Kennedy. He can go wide to Akamanis. This is brilliant football. Akamanis onto the left, brings it in to Lynch. Oh, that is champagne football. You wouldn't see better football than that anywhere, Mick. Yeah, and especially with these conditions. They're just handling the ball like a dry day. Akamanis continued to run onto his left side, knows he's got terrific skills. Gave himself a little bit of space between himself and the chaser. But as you said, Pete, use of the ball in terms of effectiveness, these two sides are miles apart in terms of class. Alistair Lynch for a goal, number four, he has kicked it. And the Brisbane Lions move on. Well, he's just one of a team, they're just like a machine, the way they run that ball, Mick. And, uh, well, they can put a number of players at full field, they can just interchange them all. And here's his build up, magnificent staff. Transfer a play again. Good short precision ball handling. Then bring the ball back once you get the centre wing to the middle part of the ground. That's what Brisbane are capable of doing. Kennedy held the footy up to loose the ball by hand. Akimanis good kick to the leader punch. Ball back in the centre. Pretty cool. Dark day here in Melbourne. And it's heading towards being a very dark day for Collingwood in their final appearance at Victoria Park. Hart ridden into the ground, and the umpire will ball it up. As you look around this ground, there are the famous Collingwood names up on the grandstand. My mate, my mate Peter McKenna right alongside. Lee Matthews is in the visiting coaches box, having coached Collingwood to a premiership in 1990. But you look at the names, the Rose brothers, the Toomey brothers, Len Thompson, Ray and Tony Shaw, and all sorts of tradition to lift Collingwood, oh. but they haven't been able to match it today. How good's Darrell White? Absolutely sensational by White, but he gave it away to Lane. Midfield. Is that a mark or a free kick? Play on, nothing for it. Gee, the Collingwood fans didn't like that too much. It's taken by Brad Scott. A high ball inside the 50. Richardson wrestling. Rocker came over the top of him. Neither of them have got the footy. Chris Johnson's a chance for Brisbane. Ball taken towards the line. He's just about holding at the Collingwood player. Play on, says the umpire. Michael on all fours. The hand pass away. Buckley to tidy up. He's lost it. Brad Scott, centering kick. Discipline. Well coached Brisbane. And they could come from last to a premiership in one year. And nobody's ever done it in the AFL. Ola Renshaw gets it out to Patterson. He just kicks blindly. He didn't look. He was under pressure. But he just kicked it wildly. And waiting for it was Kennedy, who's going to always oh, kick into the man coming towards him. Had a loose man, Crow. Lawrence worked hard. Lambert dived on it. He might lose his holding the ball if he's not careful. Still, that was Lawrence that time. Akamanis is quick. White, a very sure ball handler. Ola Renshaw was working hard there. Whoa. Scotty Burns ran into a brick wall. He's pretty tough though. It didn't hurt him. And the umpire will have to bounce this one. The umpire was letting it go then, Brian Chan. Yeah, pretty good umpiring by the umpire. Kept the footy alive. It looked like initially it was a head high contact to Scott Burns. Good decision there on, by the umpire when you watch it in slow motion. 
But Collingwood has still got a man up. There is a going to be one. Oh, just tackling all over the field. And Brisbane just in numbers and their skills uh, bring it forward again. Here's a high tackle though. Free kick to Collingwood and the fans yell as though they've never had a free kick ever. It's to Ola Renshaw. Rocker now back in defence. He kicks wide. Past lock here it goes. Centre wing. Defensive side of the ground. He keeps it in. A real kick and hope job. Kuskis. Oh, he's too slow. He's gone. Great tackle by Orchard. It's Bilster Tarrant. But it'll come back and Orchard will take his free kick. Yeah, good play, Tarrant. He realised that if the advantage hadn't been played, he was running onto his right leg. Lopez Senior actually stopped and popped, waited for Orchard to find his feet. The ball would have been brought back. Good play. Great inspiration from nearly the smallest bloke on the team, Orchard. And the quickest. <laughs> and the crowd want Rocket a bomb one from about 70 metres. He's got no hope into that breeze. In fact, that's a shocking kick straight to Keating. You are, but there was no effort by the Collingwood Forge to get out to Keating and make a contest of it. Kennedy, further field to McRae, Notting, six goals last week. There's no excuse for a guy when the ball's floating in the air that the forwards don't at least rush out and contest the mark. You can't let a bloke mark on his own. I think Collingwood's performance, making excuses for the enormity of the occasion, I think it's been very, very ordinary. Oh, there's no doubt about that. I don't think you can take into account the pre-match hype and all that. There's a game of footy to be won. That doesn't change week to week. They've just been totally outplayed. Yeah, no, dead right. Now, that was Lambert getting a vote. Free ball. Races to half forward, chips it in towards that centre corridor, puts the ground. Oh, that's very good defensive play. Akamanis goes wide. He's looking out here. Or oh, Johnson, he could have run and marked that. He waited for the bounce and let it bounce over the line, centre wing. I think it's the unforced errors that have also hurt Collingwood on a couple of occasions. Anthony Rock has won possession merely because he's playing in the ruck, playing a kick behind the play. He's won the footy, but just hasn't used it to the best of his ability. For a kick, Lambert has it. Funny old hand pass. Ackermanis in trouble. Wide to Lepich. He works it up the ground and passed wide out of bounds. 48 point lead to Brisbane, who are heading for their eighth straight win. Club record for the Brisbane Lions. And they'll be going into next week's final series, Cockahoop. They'll have a home final at the Gabba. If they win that, they'll get a second final at the Gabba. And the next appearance in Melbourne could be grand final day on the last week, Saturday in September. Centre wing. So a lot of the I, I actually think the Sting's gone out of Brisbane a little bit too. They seem to be going through the motions a bit. And Matthew Clark warm me up ready to come on. No doubt he'll replace Clark Keating. Well, Keating has been absolutely sensational in the ruck. And to bring on a guy with the ability of Clark, a fresh player who can jump and palm the ball is going to be a huge asset, particularly come finals time. Rick Oller inshore. He was looking for Tarrant. Anthony Rocker is there. Look at Keating working hard in that pack. Diving on the ball was number 18, Lambert. And the umpire will throw it up again. And boys, more, more fresh legs for the Brisbane Lions. Luke Power also ready to come back on. Craig Lambert coming off there. Lambert, well, they're giving uh, Aussie, it looks like they're giving Lambert little spurts to run him into uh, fitness. Yeah, pretty, pretty smart too. He's had hamstring problems and you don't want to give him too much too early. Tarrant was skillful there. He kicks wide, very wide. I'm not sure why Colin would want to go to that side of the ground because there's a million kicks to goal from there. I also think, Ozzy, the reason why he's been removed from the ground, heavy ground, if hamstring problems, once fatigue sets in, certainly puts more strain on your body. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong there, Mick, good point. So, boundary throwing, Tarrant doing a bit of wrestling. Huskis comes over the top and does very well. Ashcroft gets the hand pass from Chris Scott. Orchard, in trouble, but did well. Laid a terrific tackle a few moments ago. Orange order, Tarrant to Williams. Williams puts it out in front. Chance here for Collingwood. But Brisbane get back in numbers and front and square is Akamanis. He'll take a free kick. It's a good player, isn't he, Akamanis? Look at the change of direction on the outer side. You've got Kennedy, 
power. Also, Lepic ran extremely hard to space. This is where they set up. Collingwood, in the terms of discipline, have got a man up far quickly. Brad Scott's on in centre field oh, now. Look at that Totally kick. by himself. 60 metre kick that found him by Kennedy. Now he can come back inside the nodding. Nodding whips around onto his right foot and brings it into half forward. Richardson at the back. Thumps it towards the boundary line. Lockyer and Power. Back it comes to Brad Scott who hooks it up in the air. Clark waits underneath it. Thumped away by Tara. Mel Michael gets it to Freeborn. Centre wing is Buckley. Buckley swings onto the left. A low trajectory kick. He tried to put it out in front of Brown. Has had a quiet game. Here's Scott Crow. Akamanis. Good play. Oh, yes, that was very, very good play. Here's a good chance. Brown flips it over his head. Burns caught. That strong Brisbane defence off the ground by Sean Hart. Centre wing is Buckley. He's caught. Gets in the hand pass. Michael. Tarrant. Tarrant brings it to half forward. White was the flyer. Still a loose ball at uh, half back. Rocker flips it out. Oh, he's lost it to Power. And Power chips it across to Ashcroft. Marcus Ashcroft in between half back and centre wing. Ten goals, eight to three goals, three. So Collingwood haven't scored in this quarter. And Brisbane have added two goals, two. Free kick to Scotland. Umpire Dean, he was pushed in the back. Good decision. He's Scotland, a first-year player, playing his 12th AFL game. And White, just an easy mark overhead. He makes everything look easy. But he never takes two bites of the cherry, no. does he? Always a one grab. Lawrence, this is great system that Brisbane used coming out of defence. Lawrence up towards centre wing and the ball out of bounds. Mick, it seems as though they'll go wide and if they're not picked up by their opponents, the kick will go that way. If they are picked up by their opponents, there's a second wave of players coming from behind them that can go in the centre corridor. Yeah, that's what they try to do, try to create from, run from behind. And they're very disciplined in doing that. Centre wing. Burns tried to get his boot to it. Buckley, good handball under enormous pressure. Oliver Renshaw, oh, look at that. Fantastic by White. Brad Scott tried to flick it on. Hart, now they've got the loose man going. Good this kick. is Ashcroft. That was a clever kick. Lepic, oh. oh, clever little knock on. Steve Lawrence looks up. He can chip it across or he can have a shot for goal. He runs to 50. He sets sail for the goal square. Lynch in front. Free kick to Lynch. Holding, no, the other way. Against Lynch. We'll go to Preston Giancomo. Lynch not arguing, so he obviously got rid of... Oh, this is a dangerous kick across the ground, but Tarrant gets away from Clark and marks. This Tarrant getting a bit, a bit of a run around at the moment uh, by Tony Shaw. Letting him get plenty of the ball. Huskis in front. Buckley flies. Brown tried to flick it out. Buckley was looking for someone running past. There was no one there. And the hand pass floats over the line. What's actually happening, Pete? Rock has gone back to full forward. Mark Richardson is used now as a tall defender on Jared Malloy. Chris Tarrant's basically the ruck rover type matched up against Matthew Clark. Ball back out of play. Collingwood haven't moved in this quarter. They are scoreless. And just due to matchups, interesting also to see that Lepic has played him basically on centre wing against Tyson Lane as Lambert warms up the interchange bench. He'll replace somebody in a minute. Paul Williams throws the ball on the right boot. The kick to centre wing. Gavin Brown didn't complete the mark. And the ball's out of play. Brownie thinks it's his, but he can now get. That's no mark. That's a bit of grandstanding. I think he knew he didn't, uh, wasn't paid it. 48-point lead to Brisbane. And pretty comfortable now. Tarrant does well for Collingwood. Comes to White. Somehow he gets boot to ball. Lappin. Crow comes back. Takes it away. Well done by Scott Crow. Back to a contest. Scott and Buckley, the two fives. Lawrence at the back. Terrific hand pass. Ashcroft. Michael. Good mark. Scott Crow off again for Collingwood and Andrew Shaw will coming back on. Thanks, Ozzy. Oh, courage needed by Paul Williams then. And he got the mark. That was a very, very good mark under enormous pressure. Nothing really happening on the scoreboard at the moment. Let's see what the Magpies can do. Oh, Rocker shoved his opponent Kennedy out of it. There's Clark kicking wide to Lappin. Orchard is there. 
Orchard had the pace to get to that contest. He's a very the quickest player in the Collingwood side, without a doubt. To half forward and Patterson. But look at that enormous pressure over the line again for throwing. And Pete, what he's doing is what you've made famous. He's having a red hot go, Orchard. Yes, he does have a go, uh, uh, Mark Orchard. Played with the Swans. He was used as a tagger up there. But he had a good season with them in his live final season there. Lane gets it to Williams in towards half forward. As you can see, nothing happening on the scoreboard. Again, that was Lawrence. He gained about 40 metres round the boundary line for another throw. So this quarter has been pretty ordinary as Craig Lambert comes back on. Yeah, well, it's just been a quarter of toing and froing. No side has really gained any ascendancy whatsoever in this term. I think one thing that's surely evident, the skill level, even though they're in bad conditions from the Brisbane team, is far superior to Collingwood. Too many Collingwood players under no pressure are turning the ball over. That's a good effort by Gavin Brown, the veteran. From in between wing and half forward, in short to Burns. Still only at half forward. Burns, half distance pass, chopped off by Lappin. It was aimed for uh, Williams, but just a skill error, and it might cost him a goal. Here goes Daryl White, loping down the outer side. Oh, look Pops it up high. Leaping Lepich. Didn't get to the contest. At the front of the pack, McRae, who's been magnificent from few opportunities, and that's just offline for a behind. And Craig McRae has kicked four goals, one. And Mick, there's no doubt, as you said, that the Brisbane Lions have got the superior skill level, but one thing that has shown out for the Collingwood Football Club today is that Nathan Buckley's skill level, and it is far and above a great deal better than any player on his side. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. You look around the ground, Aussie, and... To make merit to that point, he's working extremely hard trying to lift his teammate, even the teammates, even now he's pushed a half forward, probably to give him a rest because he's worked extremely hard, not only to win it, but also try to defend and try to encourage his teammates to lift to the intensity he no doubt he tries to offer. Paul Williams driving a long kick. Look at Lawrence. Gee, he's Back been he goes. He, he has been terrific, Stephen Lawrence. Over to Huskis, and again they run. White, this is a guy that I believe could yeah, win, look win at them this. a premiership. There's loose men everywhere. He's gone wide. I'm mentioning White. He has got single-handedly, if he had a real on day one day, he could win them a flag. Ashcroft's kick was magnificent to Leopards. He must be enjoying this up the ground. He kicks long and wide and sneaks it in for a behind. And Ozzy, you've played with the majority of these young players. Obviously, the downside is that their inability to man up, especially when the opposition win the ball from a turnover. They've got to defend quickly and get back on their direct opponents. Yeah, you're right there, Mick. And the other thing that, that I, I feel, um, I suppose, is a worry for Colin is the fact that they've been down in the latter last couple of years. The younger boys are just being progressed through the ranks in a sort of negative sort of environment so it's important for the club in general to get up the ladder not just for the sponsors but also for the progression of the young blokes. Relay free up the ground against Alistair Lynch and that's a terrific mark by Rupert Bathiris. First year player of a reasonably mature age has come in and played lots of games this year for Collingwood. The ball knocked up the ground. Ashcroft is there. He's got runners going past. Scott off the left wide well delivered kick and the mark taken by Notting. Notting plays on. Lynch and Lawrence there. Siren beats them and there'll be no more scoring. Well, hardly any scoring in that quarter. Not much happened at all. They kicked two goals, five in that quarter. Brisbane to Collingwood who was scoreless. And it pretty much wraps up the wood. Well, it does wrap up the wooden spoon for Collingwood for only the second time in their history. The last one in 1976. But uh, well, Tom Hafey joined the club and they went from last to a grand final. Somebody will join the club next year and hopefully they'll be able to drag him up by the bootstraps as well. Well, you can ask for his pride now, Drew. So at three-quarter time, Lee Matthews comfortable. 10-11 to three goals, three. Well, he's going down fighting. He said this game's still there to be won. He said Brisbane Lions, all they've got to play for is the finals. They're going to just sit back and he just believes that they're there to be got. He's implored them to play on the outer wing. It's a lot drier out there. A lot of handballs, just direct the goal boys. Got nothing to lose. Last 30 minutes at Victoria Park. So we get underway for the final quarter at this famous old ground, over a century old. But Ashcroft gets it away for the Lions. Away to Chris Scott. Long ball to the 50. Malloy caught behind, which worked to his advantage. 
he wins a possession, keeps it in. Malloy still going. You wouldn't underestimate him. He kicked a great goal earlier on. It's still there for the Lions in front of the Social Club. The umpires are letting things go a long, long time. And eventually, Shaw will burst clear to Burns. Over the top, he comes with his hand pass. To Lockyer, back to Burns. Collingwood off and running. Good stuff. Williams, good kick to Crow. Scotty Crow, way out over centre half foot. He's going to bring it back towards the pocket. Anti Rocker should mark. And he does. Our position leverage, very good effort by Rocker. Yeah, once again, set up by Scott Burns. He's been very good since quarter time. Rocker took the centre bounce, then pushed forward. Done that on numerous occasions this year. Leppage had to pick him up in the flow of play. One front position, good body work, to take a very good mark. Now he's got the opportunity to launch Collingwood back into this contest by kicking straight and giving them an opportunity to gain some momentum for the first time in the game. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if Collingwood come home with a bit of a rush in this term. He's kicking for his second, right through the middle. Two goals to Anthony Rocker. A good start to the final term. And let's hope for the crowd's sake, Mickey McGuan, that they can come home with a burst of goals. Well, they haven't had much to cheer about today, Pete, as Rocker goes back into the centre to take this next ruck contest. But he pushed forward. Good play. Good strong mark. Richardson in the forward line alongside Brown. Buckley's also in that part of the ground. With Burns, Williams and Lockyer. Well, Anthony Rocker kicked Collingwood's first goal in the first quarter and he's added a goal in the last. They were scoreless in the third. Will that give them a fillip? Back in the middle, Rocker in the ruck against Keating, who's beaten them all today. Down to Lockyer, to half forward, Crow working Lawrence, tunnels it out, Lepich, chopped off Buckley. Very high, Tarrant in the middle of the pack. Huskis, good trap. Magnificent contest there by Gavin Brown. No doubt the Collingwood supporters in the outer rise to their feet and applaud the ex-captain. We've seen it on a number of occasions. Brown diving head first at that loose footy. Well, he was the human torpedo before Thorpe came along. <laughs> Williams, rocker outnumbered. Brown front of the pack goes past him. The Curia worked off the ball by Lawrence. It was an absolute phenomenon. Strong. Chris Scott, a bit of a fumble. He might have taken his eyes off that. Williams, Buckley, Buckley buried. Brad Scott to Chris, the two twins combining. Up towards centre wing, Lappin, and a two-fister by Scotland. Uh, the Collingwood bench, Aussie. Yeah, Patterson, Oller and Shaw, Patheris, and my good mate Gavin Krasicki, who's in a tracksuit and will, will not play any further part in this game. And the Brisbane Lions, Johnson, Voss, Clark, and Simon Black. Thank you, uh, Richard, as Keating's back in and doing the ruck work there. Oh, Akamanis dodging, weaving. Gets his hand pass in, back it goes to Chris Scott. They've always got numbers around the ball. Lambert, oh, he headed for the boundary line then. In fact, he went too wide and out on the foot. If that's one negative in Lambert's game, that's his ball delivery by foot. Magnificent in close with his hands. But he just probably needs some match time, some ground time get his legs into a fitness capacity that he can use the footy. Well, Shawball went to Burns, the crowd calling for him to go back to Shawball, which he does. He can go over the top here. But Brisbane getting numbers back. And Shawball, a low trajectory kick. Buckley flies, ball flicks off hands. Lawrence, he's a good little defender. He handballs wide. And that stayed. No, did it. Yes, it's still in place. Uh, and oh, what a great smother by Malloy. Huskis originally kept it in, he's caked in mud. Look at that. <laughs> I realise, I think he realised that he made a mistake by keeping the footy alive. Had to play the percentage that to go across the boundary line, but magnificent smother there by Malloy. Once again, Pete, numbers at the ball. Uh, it was terrific. Huskis worked so hard to keep it in, and then Malloy had to work like an absolute demon to get it out. Oh. About a second later. Oh, power. That's discipline to the top of the goal square. Lynch, he's got Lepich, he's got the Huskis going past. Lynch with strength. Somehow got his hands free, and here's a chance. Is this kid any good? He does well nodding towards the goal square. It's up for grabs. 
That trip. might have been a trip by hand. And uh, it'll be a Collingwood free kick. They've worked it out pretty well. Tarkin Lockyer up towards centre wing. Who'd he kick that to? Well, he was knocked down after he kicked it. So it'll be a relayed free to be taken by Richardson. Yeah, Lux of Fortune didn't really kick it with any purpose to find a teammate. An indiscretion from the Brisbane Lions chase that gave a free kick down the field. Akamanas had the pace to get there on Tyson Lane and punch it up. And look, there's no substitute for pace because it gets you to a contest uh, to spoil. Yeah, they're a very quick team, well balanced across the field. But I think today, Pete, when the loose balls had to be won, it's been the bodies of the Brisbane Lion team that are going through the line of the ball that little bit harder, gaining momentum. There's another example there. They've just got that urgency to compete. Good sides do that on a consistent basis. That was Lambert to Chris Scott. Lawrence has had a butler of a game. And look at that kick. Beautiful kick to Sean Hart. He's going to bomb it in towards uh, half forward. Lynch in front. Great attempt. Couldn't mark, though. Preston Giacomo. All oh. had it taken away by Notting. Notting's going to centre that ball. That's obviously uh, a team rule. You must try and centre it from the boundary line. And uh, Freeborn taps it over the line. I think it just gives your forwards an area to run to, knowing that the ball will be delivered. It's a responsibility from the player with possession to be aware of where he is. He knows that he's going to kick the ball to the top of the square. The forwards know where they've got to get to. It just creates opportunities. Keating's played a magnificent game for Brisbane. And he might take a free kick here right in front. Well, not quite right in front, but he's very close to goal. Yeah, well, it's just a little bit disheartening from Collingwood's point of view. And there's the biggest player on the ground. It's an undisciplined free kick there by Scotland. Throwing Keating off the line of the footy. As the Collingwood crowd are starting to get involved in this contest with their voice. Booing the umpire for that decision. But this is a difficult shot on goal from Keating. Tall player, has worked hard, tirelessly all day. Hard shot from that part of the ground. Has got the shoulder of the... Sharon Stan has to kick it flat and hard directly at the middle of the goals from this part of the ground. Yes, crossed the face of goal and out of bounds. And out through for a minor score. Interesting to see there Keating recruited from Surface Paradise and you realise how cold would he be feeling here today? <laughs> That's why he's got that long sleeve on, I think, Drew. But no, he's been a tireless worker today. Drew would like to be... Two would like to be recruited to Surface Paradise. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Oh, it wouldn't be a bad spot. Well, we used to go there with uh, Channel 7 to uh, Carrara. The Carrara days. Yeah. And what's the original Brisbane Bears, Drew? Now, there's Burns to Williams. Williams will drive it long and wide. Rocker! No mark. Lippich. Oh, was that deliberate? No. Ozzy, question for you. Uh, you talked about your mate Gabe Grasiska sitting it out for the last quarter of the last game this year. Is he going to go on? Have we seen the end of him? Well, it's funny you say that. I asked him that question last night when we spoke on the phone, and obviously with the change of coach, it's really up to the new coach, I'd suggest, but Gavin does want to go on. Well, it's in the forward pocket with Lecuria. Here's Buckley, support from Brown. Brown back to Nick Davis, whose dad played here with distinction. Tarrant, Rocker. Rocker tried to thump it on. Well played, Buckley, a great pick-up. We talked about his skill level, and it sure, sure is very, very high. I think the downside of Collingwood's situation at the time also, was he, is that if Gavin Brown, Gav Grisisco and Damien Munkers don't decide to continue on next year, all of a sudden they lose 700 games in experience or close to it. Enormous void to fill. Yeah, that's for sure, Mick. And that, that happened last year with uh, the retirement of Graham Wright. Uh, and Tony Francis has got lots of moving clubs. Uh, use, use one thing, but you need to have that blend of experience as well. Burns floats a hand pass. Williams goes through with his elbow up. Uh, Lockyer's kick is smothered. So Brisbane still competing for everything, even though they lead by uh, plenty here, yeah, 72 to 27. It comes out to Chris Scott. Kick by Scott. Malloy with strength works his opponent off the ball. Jorbel. And Malloy marks. Lynch leads. The kick out in front of him. Beautiful! And Keating's on in the goal square too, Drew. If Lynch gets up quickly, he should outmark Lynn Freeborn. Not going for the score. Going for the top of the goal square. Keating juggles. Can't mark. Here's the bloke who's kicked goals in front of pack. Oh, McRae. Luckily to Hart. And Hart gets the goal. Oh, 
McRae was going for the score, no risk. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Drew. But what we are seeing here to today could be the Premiership favourites. Very hard to come to Victoria Park. To win a game here, you certainly have to be a good, a good team, committed throughout the whole two hours of battle. That's what the Brisbane Lions team have done. Numbers at the ground level ball. Once again, McRae right spot, quick kick, found hard, who goal. Well, they're proving themselves, as Mickey McGowan said, one of the Premiership favourites. Certainly, well, them, they and Essendon would be the two form sides in the competition as we see Lockyer going forward. Scotty Crow. Well, look at the numbers round the ball again, Akamanis. He was looking towards Keating. Ooh. Keating very mobile for a big bloke. Lane went past the ball. And uh, players dive in on top of it. Well, it's all this. Oh, they eventually get it out too easily. Ashcroft in towards half forward. Lynch went past it. So did Preston Giacomo. Power off the ground. Oh, don't tell me he's going to kick it. No. Orchard gets back and helps it over the line. And, boys, another pleasing thing for all Brisbane Lions fans would be the obvious fantastic form of Britain, Alistair Lynch today. It's been well documented in his chronic fatigue syndrome. But today it looks like from where I'm sitting, it's the old Alistair Lynch. He's looking a million dollars. And no Voss and no Black from half-time, Aussie. Well, you know, that, that's an extra bonus. If they get those guys back on the ground, and as you said, it, they'd have to be one of the Premiership favourites. Look at that punch by Chris Scott. Worth a kick. Malloy sets up for goal and kicks a goal. Fantastic, Chris Scott. Well, that's what discipline's all about. And this is the reason why they are a good team. Magnificently coached by Lee Matthews. That's one thing that he tries to instill in a club. Do the right things all the time. If you continue to do the right things because we become creatures of habit, Scott caught behind, punch it back, zoning situation, free as players will be free, waves back into the hands of Malloy, kicks the easiest of goal, unopposed. Very good discipline. Well, we saw a goal kick by Jared Malloy after a 40 metre punch by Chris Scott. That was fantastic. Lockyer or De Williams, he was caught. Lappin gets it across to Chris Scott. Up in the air, Keating wait. Oh, what a good mark with a slippery ball. Keating, is he a good player? He was looking for Malloy. Here's Lynch working hard. As Ozzy said, great play, Alistair Lynch. Tried to get his hand pass to it. Umpire has pinged him for holding the ball. Yeah, good decision. Good tackle there by Burns. Burns has been a terrific competitor today. He's tried to lift his teammates. Worked hard in midfield since he went to that part of the ground. Try to win first access to the footy. Just towards centre wing. Lepic works towards the line. And Mick, I suppose a great incentive. A great incentive for... Let's have a look at Keating's mark again. Chris Scott hated himself for his kick, which just went up in the air. And Keating was camped underneath it for what seemed like half an hour. Took a terrific mark. Great courage. But the incentive for Brisbane here, when you consider that uh, people of the calibre of uh, Michael Voss off the ground, with the finals campaign coming up, this is such an even squad, you want to make sure you're getting the 22, because these blokes could be premiership players. You don't want to be getting dropped at this stage. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You are playing for your spot in the team, and that creates terrific morale within the club. And Brisbane, because they've been so good this year, no one who's represented the club this year at senior level would like to be replaced at this time of the year. Oh, well done again by Notting. Wide to Brad Scott. Lynch over the shoulder. Clever! Oh, just offline. He turns quick for a big man. Slippery underfoot. But he has found front position every time. Every time today. He's worked hard to find it. He's got off his opponent and pressed the Giacomo on a number of occasions. That would please Coach Lee Matthews, who we just saw on screen. But Collingwood, from their point of view, they just have to play the game out. They've got to be really hard at the contest, continue to play with a lot of dignity and honour as the players beforehand have done. Well, uh, the, I feel sorry for the crowd because Collingwood really given them nothing today as we see Burns go forward. Oh, courage by Huskers. Gee, this is a good back line. And they're exciting. They peel off and they run. There's Kennedy, who's a booming kick. He kicks to a contest, freeborn and power. Freeborn did pretty well in the ex-North Melbourne player. On to Scotty Crow. Here's Rocker. He'll mark. And this could be 50. Well, I reckon the umpire's going to ping him for 50 here. 
He is. Undisciplined. Well, it was, un it was unnecessary. It's silly because you mightn't have kicked it from there, Mick. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about that. Now it's a gimme goal. And I just wouldn't be surprised to see if Lee Matthews decide to bring him off the ground, have a talk to him, and say, irrespective of the scoreboard, to give away 50 metre penalties. Yeah, you're right, I think Mick has rocket kicks his third. But, uh, yes, he, it'll be interesting to see if the runner, we'll keep our eye on his, to see if the runner comes out to him, because Lee Matthews they will not be allowed on the ground probably wouldn't the like that. Yuskis is a player who is a leader within the group, especially that defensive group. He'd be filthy on himself in doing that, letting his mates down that have played around him for most of the year. Wasn't a lot in it, was it? There wasn't a lot in it, Just but it was little. there, and they're the things that you, the player, can control. Well, everything here today has been fantastic for Collingwood. The marketing, the promotion. We had a wedding at halftime, a, a luncheon that started at about 10 o'clock. All the great players of the past were uh, were honoured before the game, and everything went great until uh, this game started. And the senior side has let them down. And they're going to finish up with a very demoralising loss and wooden spoon. And Anthony Rocker looks like he's hurt his right shoulder fairly badly. He's just holding it in the middle of the ground. The Collingwood runner's out there talking to him now. The doctor's running out and used to see how he is. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Power comes in. Doc Clark, centre circle, moving forward. Long to Lynch. Malloy, there's a wrestle going on between... I'm not sure how you can say that Lynch was at fault more than Shawbel, but he's given the free kick to Shawbel. Well, Lynch was in front too, wasn't he? Yeah, so, Rocker working on that shoulder in the... Uh, just off the play, here's Tarrant. Chris Tarrant. Got a running player in Freeborn. Freeborn can chip it further field. Another loose player. This is Scotty Crow. Crow in towards Rocker. Rocker pushed out. They're pushing the back, said the umpire on Lepich. He Lepich was pushed out of the contest when before the ball was within five metres. And the, the young girl saw herself on the screen. Uh, abusing the umpire and she quickly uh, stopped. Here's Lawrence who's been uh, one of the best players on the ground in my opinion. His dad Barry would be pretty proud of what he's seeing at his football at the moment. Kennedy couldn't quite mark the finger tipper. <laughs> and over the line and Kennedy gets the raspberry from the coming of folk. Let's watch his push. Yeah, I don't know whether there was much in that. The ball was in the five metre range. I thought he just out positioned himself or him against his opponent in Lepich. Wasn't in the back. Here's Gavin Brown at left half forward. Delaying and then kicking it inside the 50. Burns in front. Hart for the Lions. Lepich, good combination. Lawrence, what a back uh, six they've had all season. Orchard in a bit of trouble. He's lost it. Ashcroft has lost it. It was a throw. It was going to be a Collingwood free. Advantage to Williams. Burns unmarked and only 30 metres from goal. And very, very good discipline play there for Paul Williams in the situation where the team are down by so much. He could have quite easily just blazed away, but no. Took the sensible option, the discipline op option, short to Scotty Burns. Yeah, good point, Ozzy. It's quite easy to cover yourself in glory at times like this. A good tackle there by Scott Craig. Great pressure on Ashcroft. Advantage rule was given. Williams looked up, saw Burns run into space and gave it to him on his chest. And Burns has kicked the goal. Yeah, Scott Burns kicks his first for this afternoon. Much needed one in terms of gaining some respect on the scoreboard from Collingwood's point of view. It has been a debacle this game in terms of the margin. 26 scoring shots to nine. Totally been outplayed, but they've persisted this quarter, especially in the second half. Good discipline there by Williams to find the footy to Burns, who's been very, very good since quarter time. Well, this brings back memories. When Des Tudnam in 72 came back as captain coach of Essendon, they set fire to the... Uh, streamers but they look more like flares or something down there behind the uh, goals there's Buckley let's get back to the action Tarrant is marked, let's see if the Magpies in the last 8 minutes can come home with a flurry of goals he kicks wide, he's looking here for Burns again, he's got him I reckon he's been Collingwood's best player 
He's worked tirelessly. He's won the footy. He's had a lot of the ball since quarter time. You have a look at his statistics. He had four possessions in the first quarter, six in the second, three in the third, and this will be his tenth possession in the last quarter. So he's worked exceptionally hard for the duration of the game. Scotty Burns for his second in two minutes. That's not a bad kick. That's a beautiful looking kick to go. So Scott Burns, not noted as a goal kicker, he's more of a down defender or midfielder. Has kicked two goals and the Magpie faithful all of a sudden have got something to shout for. Yeah, the voice there from the supporters getting involved. But that is a great kick from that pocket by Scott Burns. And that's the reason why he's such a respected player, not only internally but also externally because he commits himself. Had another limited preparation this year due to injury. But he is such a competitor. He gives his heart and soul for the club, to these teammates and also for the club he represents. Well, Collingwood had managed just three goals for three-quarter time. They've kicked four in this last quarter. And the crowd are starting to find a little bit of voice. They're getting a bit of football out of the middle. Here's Lockyer. Up towards Rocker. Yes! Mark Page! Yep, paid by Peter Keery. Now, Rocker should go back. And his body language should say, OK, let's go back. Kick the distance. I know I will. Let's go back, right for, aim for that right-hand goalpost. Let the ball come back, because I'll certainly get the trip. Under kicked it. That's well right. Edge of the goal square, and punched through for a rush behind by the defenders. Andrew, as that happened, Chris Johnson back on the ground for the Lions, and Marcus Ashcroft replaced. And Ashcroft has been a good player again today. Aussie, he's had 24 possessions, no doubt just resting the midfield group. No Black, no Voss, no Ashcroft for the last five or six minutes of play. Just goes to show that Matthews is changing his players over in that part of the ground. Lappin gets it back to his teammate there, Lippich, who did all the running initially. He's Orchard. He's got enormous pace. That's why he's on McRae. He's pretty nippy himself. Mel Michael, Andrew Shawball. All of a sudden, uh, Brisbane's starting to work a little bit harder. Orchard gets it to Michael. Buckley is marked. He gives it off to Williams. Can they get another one? He ran into all sorts of trouble. He's Sean Hart and Matthew Clark. Brad Scott. He's way out on centre wing. He kicks long. He's looking in the direction of Lynch. Lynch has got a couple to beat. Shawball punches at the ground. Off the ground by Scotland. Was that in the full? No. Throw in half forward for, for uh, Brisbane. Paul Williams tried to select the second option. Your first option's the best one. Should have kicked it originally when the quick hands was given by Buckley. Ran into a great tackle from the Brisbane Lions player. Turned the footy over. Here come the Lions up towards the edge of the goal square. The kick coming in from Malloy. Lynch has been really good. Flips the ball back for power. Look like a throw. Concede some ground. Brad Scott. And Scott only 40 metres out from goal. Breeze across him from there. And that hasn't proved any gimme range today. Five and a half minutes remaining for Victoria Park as an AFL venue and for Tony Shaw as an AFL coach. But boy, is there plenty to look forward to for the Brisbane Lions. And he's done a very good job since coming on the ground playing on Buckley. Nullified Buckley's influence. Buckley had a terrific first half, but in the second half he's been relatively quiet. Scott's been his opponent. Kicked by Scott, hasn't made it, and they've rushed it through. And when you get players at this time of the year with the ability and the discipline and the hardness and approach of Brad Scott, obviously it just goes to show the depth of the Brisbane Lions. And there's no doubt, come the last week of September, the way they're playing now, they could possibly be there. Scotland brings it into Michael, who marks at half back. Trying to play on, and he succeeds. He kicks wide. Lawrence, who I got front position again, well played. Patheris and Akamanis. Akamanis, gee, he's a good player now. I reckon he'll be All-Australian uh, at the end of the year. Akamanis is certainly, which we see power. Go forward to Johnson. Johnson gives it off to McRae, who's kicked four goals. He sets it up for Malloy. Malloy at the back. No mark. His opponent, Krista Giacomo, heads for the boundary line. It's wobbling and out in front of the Collingwood Social Club. Yeah, good centering kick once again by McRae, I think it was. 
and kick the footy to the advantage of Malloy. Just unfortunate from his point of view, he didn't cleanly mark the ball. Kicked by Lockyer. And Kennedy has been part of that great defence this year. Best defence in the league and the highest scoring attack in the league. So it's a combination that's going to prove pretty difficult, not only for Collingwood, who are at the bottom of the ladder. Oh, oh wait! Jeez, a good mark. It's the best one grab mark in the competition, in my book. Daryl White into the hole, which is closed up by Heath Scott, who takes the mark back near the back pocket. But uh, Brisbane, far too good for Collingwood today. But, gee, they might be too good for the teams up in the top eight during the finals. Freeborn went a long way. Scotland. Well, Scotland coming straight there in the middle of the ground with a low trajectory kick. He's looking for Tarrant. It bounces off his chest. Williams went at it. Here's Lecuria. Lepich and Rocker. Lepich in front. Went for the double-fisted punch. Then tapped it back because he thought White was waiting for it. Rocker to Brown. An up-and-under kick. Huskis back with the flight of the ball. Burns, can he get another one? Good one? Gives it to Scott Crow. It's another goal to the Magpies. They're working hard. Scott Crow has kicked his first. Again, Mick, good play by Burns. Yeah, very good play by Burns once again. Good recovery. Just inside the 50 metre arc there by Anthony Rocker. He was involved in the marking contest against Lepage. Brown was the player that kicked the ball forward. Good courage from both players, Burns and also Yuskis. Eyes only for the ball. Great recovery there by Burns to release the ball by hand to the run of Crow, who kicked an easy goal for the Collingwood team. Well, Collingwood easily their best quarter. It's the only quarter they've won this last term, and they've kicked five goals in the last quarter, five goals to two. Brad Scott for the Lions, inside 50. Oh, good mark. Magnificent mark taken by Orchard. I think there's an example of... The from a coach's point of view, you'd love to get your matchups right. Collingwood started the game with Tyson Lane on McRae, then Burns moved to McRae. Maybe Orchard, in retrospect, could have been that ideal opponent. Similar size, matched up with the same spool. Here's Nick Davis, up towards centre wing to Mal Michael. Collingwood looking a lot freer now. Gavin Brown, maybe the Lions have taken their foot off the accelerator just a little bit. Presti Giacomo, but Collingwood finishing well. Presti's kick is smothered. Michael in after it. Ball flipped back by Kennedy. Oh, terrific stuff by Notting. He is a player. Notting. Buckley might have given a free kick away here. Advantage paid. The umpire did pay it. Here's Power. Running into goal. He might open up the goals here. Keeps it low. And he's kicked a clever little goal. Look, Power. Yes, that was great play. Starting way out on the wing, Mick. And uh, that was a, a, a sign of a good play, the way he uh, finished off then. Yeah, I think it was just all due to that tap back there by Kennedy into the path of Notting. Open up the play, kept the footy alive because numbers certainly favoured the Brisbane Lions team. There's a free kick against Freeborn on Lynch. But once again, numbers at the ground level ball were there from Brisbane's point of view. Power swooped onto it and ran into an open goal. Kicked it along the ground. Very smart play from a good young player for the Brisbane team. Well, the fans have been told there'll be no coming onto the ground after the final siren, which is only a couple of minutes away. The ground ringed by police and security staff. And uh, there's been a few fears that people might uh, go mad and take a few too many souvenirs. And people will be checked on their way out of the ground. It comes to Sean Hart, front of the pack. Up towards full forward. Well, well done, Alistair Lynch. Starring roll by Lynch. Yeah, front position. Percentages say, wet footy, late in the game. It'll drop short. Lynch worked his way around the body of Swarble, his opponent, to take a very good contested mark. No doubt today's performance would satisfy coach Lee Matthews. So, Alistair Lynch lining up for his fifth goal. And there'll be more activities on the ground after the full-time siren. I don't know what they'll mean to Collingwood fans after the Pies have lost the game. Lynch for his fifth. And there's something to yell about for the Collingwood fans. He hooked it. 
to give it to the opposition right to the end, even though you're dead and buried. I oh, know uh, no forward likes to miss them from directly in front, and he won't like that. But 13 16 to 8 4, it really has been a bit of a shellacking. At least Collingwood is coming home uh, pretty well. He's Preston Giacomo. That handball was intercepted. Williams, Buckley, an up and under kick. Huskis lurks at the back. Oh, yeah. But that soft free kick, wasn't it? True. Go back to midfield. There's an example of Collingwood's decision making. Preston G. Como hit to the voice of Buckley, not knowing with the awareness of what was going around him, created the turnover. Well, they did that well. Lappin intercepted well then. Free kick to Darrell White. Against Crow. Lawrence gets it back right now. There's 25 seconds of football left at Victoria Park ever. And so the, I think we'll count it down, Drew. And the call's coming from one of the greats, Peter McKenna. Thank you, Drew, as we see the mark taken for Brisbane on centre wing by Hart. Sean Hart, he kicks it in to Notting. The time clock ticking down on Victoria Park. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. The siren about to go, and that's it. The end of football at Victoria Park and what a sad day Mickey McGuan and uh, it will be a sad day for all the players, all the past players and all the crowd and all the supporters. Yeah there's no doubt about that. The farewell game from Victoria Park. A lot of emotion, a lot of hype leading into this game but I think in the end we've witnessed a very good team and one of the best players on the ground today down to you Aussie with, you're with Alistair Lynch. Well, Lynch, you played your 200th last week, but today, from what I, where I was sitting, it looked like you were just moving that much better. I know you've had the chronic fatigue syndrome, but it looked like the Alison Lynch of old. How'd you feel? Yeah, not, not too bad. I was uh, starting to move better and uh, spent the whole game at full forward, so it was good at the time to uh, settle in and pump some leads out. And yeah, we've both played here together as opposition uh, coming to Victoria Park. It's a daunting task. How did you feel, the team in general? Oh, I think um, we also dropped the way in the end, but uh, to play at Vic Park, amazing atmosphere. It's uh, Obviously, one eye Collingwood, and it was, uh, it was great to have the little pockets of support for the Lions, but uh, amazing ground to play. And that back six for the Brisbane Lions, they are sensational, aren't they, Lynch? Yeah, there's about seven or eight of them that uh, float through the back line and spend most of the time in the forward 50, actually, but uh, they're playing really well, and they just give us that uh, rock solid base to work on. Well, the boys are in great form. Good luck for September, mate. Thanks, mate. You haven't kicking tips for me? <laughs> no, just shut your eyes and hope, mate. All right. Good boy. Thanks, Richard Osborne. So a 42-point win to Brisbane, who finished the home and away season with eight on the trot. Their first ever win at Victoria Park. The final score, 13-16-94 to Collingwood, 8-4-52.